Hi folks and welcome back. It seems like we are live again. Today uh, we're back to War Hospital. We're checking out the X-Ray DLC or the Marie Curie DLC, which um, I've just been sent a copy of to try out. Now I've got good news and some not so good news about War Hospital today. So let's start with the good stuff. Um, there's actually a patch went live yesterday. It's added some new features in. Autosave being one and some bug fixes. One of them being that the ambulances should now work a lot better. So we're going to check that out today. And the not so good news. Now this is something I'm not overly happy about with games is that they have a game and that as soon as they release the game, they already have DLC ready to sell to you extra on top of the base game. And in this case, they've had DLC ready to go as an extra sale before the game is actually finished and patched and bug fixed. I don't really like that sort of practice and I don't like that in any of the uh, developers and publishers, probably the publishers more than developers. But anyway, it is what it is. I like the core gameplay of War Hospital, so we're going to jump in and we're going to see what it's like. So let's get going with the Little Curie DLC, as it's called here. I think it's called X-Ray, War Hospital X-Ray DLC in the Steam store, uh, which is where I've got it from. So we'll go check it out. Looks like we are Sir, recording. New patient arrived. Right. So let's hit pause straight away. Sir. Dispatch coming in from HQ, which we'll check out in a moment. Uh, hi to everyone in chat, by the way. I um, wonder how this would work with this being a DLC and it's opened up a new chapter. Because remember when we went from chapter two to chapter three in our base playthrough, there was that big bug, wouldn't let us do it. But starting chapter three as an independent chapter, sort of separate from my playthrough, seemed to transfer all my upgrades and staff members exactly as I had them. Uh, this doesn't. This is a new chapter, as you can see. It's not continuing from a game. We're at zero and zero for died to saved. So that's it's, it's, it's basically starting from scratch in this, the way I've got it going anyway. 50% morale. And if we have a look at our staff, we should see that these are not the names of the chaps that we had as doctors before. Which begs the question... Okay, so we have some improvements. This is interesting. Uh, but not all of them. So we're going to fix things up, get things going, and play the DLC and see where it leads us to. Uh, let's just, before we listen to this, I want to see what else has changed or is coming in this, uh, this thing. So we've got, this is the schedule for the trains. We're going to have a crap ton of resources delivered in one day's time. So we need to spend nearly 2,000 resources to get the benefit of this because I'm going to guess that our warehouse isn't max level. Oh no, it is, okay. So this is this has been leveled up more than I got it done in the base game. So I wonder if this is supposed to be played after the base game. I don't know. Hey, Halloween. How about the uh, the ambulance? They have allegedly been patched. So do we see any... We don't see any waiting. Do we have any unlocked? That's a, this is a good question. Hey, Catherine, welcome back. Glad you sound better. Yeah, my voice has come back. Uh, for those who weren't there for Monday stream, Rogue Trader involved a huge amount of reading, which totally wore my voice out. I wasn't so bad at the end of the stream, but the next morning, it um, it felt like I'd been drinking sharp rocks. And my throat was really painful. Uh, I don't know that that was all to do with the stream, as I felt a bit under the weather the last couple of days, like I've been coming down with a cold. Although it hasn't got any worse, so I don't know. But anyway, I am, I am back to normal. Hi, Phil. Don't hate me for asking, but is my accent Welsh? <laughs> It is definitely not Welsh. It is uh, it's a North Yorkshire accent. If you want, oh, who's the best person to listen to for a proper Welsh accent? If you go on Gavin and Stacey and watch Rob Brydon's character for um, or Dave, or there's a couple of uh, I can't remember the names of the characters. There's a couple of really good Welsh accents in there from the female leads in that, but um, definitely not. Definitely doesn't sound like me. Unless you've got some really weird thing going on with your speakers, which would be cool. People have said I've, they thought I've sounded like Neil Buchanan, who's from Liverpool. I've never heard that. People have thought I've got an Irish accent. I, I can't hear any of that in there at all. Uh, but I don't really have a deep Yorkshire accent either because I'm from the top end of the county. So, um, yes, I have. Uh, I clearly have a voice that confuses people. So, looking at the improvements... Where are the ambulances ones? We've got, that's the rehab. This is a casualty clearing. This is the advanced dressing station. So extra slots for medics. 
Improvement required the folding stretch. Oh, I see they flashed this out a little bit. So it now tells you if you need a previous improvement to be able to get it, which that's nice. That, that, that's nice. I mean, it was reasonably obvious before because it followed on from things like that. It's just nice that it flashes up and is now a bit more obvious. So I think we're going to have our engineers working overtime getting some of these things done because there's going to be quite a few things to do. Uh, we've got the, we've already got the morgue. Great. The ambulances. There is one. I saw one somewhere. Allows ambulances to transport wounded to CCS. Yes. And we're going to, in fact, let's do that now. Because I actually want, although there's nothing coming in at the moment, so maybe that's a bit premature. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're going to actually get that improved. Because I would very much like to see how this is going to work. Uh, going back to improvements, we've got stuff to spend. We may as well just go for... Oh, did that cost a lot? I think that cost a lot of my drafts. Never mind. Uh, something cheap then. Extra slots for medics in the... Yes, advanced dressing station and cl casualty clearing. That would be good. It's only 30 resources? No, I, I need to spend something big that's going to that's gonna clean that out. Actually, I don't know that I can... No, because I haven't got the drafts now. Okay, we're going to have to work on that clearly. Interesting. Okay, so the resources, um, and that's, okay, this is, this is changed. There are some changes in here. I'm sure the resources have been reduced. Chemical ward, x-ray. So the, the drafts are going to be like the key thing here by the looks of it. Uh, what about housing? What does... This one is, oh, it, it does let me do it. Staff lodging decreases the time. That's, that's a good one to have. That is a really good one to have. Production. We never needed the nutritious ration, so we can probably ignore that. Decreases production cost in resources. Uh, and resources are fine, excuse me. Um, the one we would like is the one that speeds up. There, that one. Increases production speed by 25% in the pharmacy. We'll have a look at the Scouts map as well, see what that's all about. Warehouse stores more equipment. Um, decrease the amount of food used. Food looks pretty full. I don't actually know what the conditions of this DLC are, so maybe I should wait. But I'm actually, I'm going to go into this because we are going to be producing stuff. And maybe that's where the resources are going to get used. So we will definitely have engineers working, crafting everything we need. And let's see how this goes. So before I listen to this story, oh, did I say they've, I did say they've added an auto save. These are our old saves, which is cool. I'm just going to save a brand new one. And I'm going to see, I don't think they've added a quick save button, but there should be an auto save option. Is there? It's not showing up. Maybe it's just automatic. Interesting. Okay, there was nothing for controls in there, was there? Keyboard bindings, yes, there are. So this is nice. I don't know if this was there before. There isn't, I don't see a quick save. No, okay, so shortcut buttons. Well, that's, that's, that's something. Hmm, let's see if it does auto save. Hopefully at the start of every, I was going to say every day, but that actually can be a long time, can't it? So we have over here, Where's it gone? Here it is. So an event, eight hours on it. Oh God, I should have, should have looked at this first. The infrastructure has been badly damaged lately. People have to use candles to light their homes at night. We've already received reports about accidents involving fires in several houses. Pravin suggests we send some engineers to wire up their electricity before something eventually burns down. What do you think, sir? Two engineers will be occupied for 12 hours. This increases morale. I'm gonna do it, because I dare say there's gonna be some add-on to that. So these guys are all upgrading. If I take two from each one, is that gonna let me do it? Oh, I only need two, don't I? Okay, that's fine then. Let's take a look at the assignments. I'll just swap you over there. So the garage and that, and those are out at work. Okay, 12 hours, hopefully, isn't gonna to be too much. We've, oh, we can hire staff. No, we can't. Oh, I don't know if we need these for staff, do we? Let's see. No, we don't. 
So I could have, I could have a trauma specialist. I could have a medic team. Now a medic team is always a, a smart move. And a nurse. We've got seven nurses. That's good. We have no scouts. Is that going to be a thing? Oops, that one. Right, so at the moment, there's nothing for the scouts to do in this DLC. But that might change. So we shall not recruit anyone from there. Friend of yours had a new boyfriend who you couldn't understand at all. He was somewhere from Scotland. Your friend had to translate everything he said. It was like a real comedy situation. Does he have just like a real strong Glaswegian accent or something? Now, we've got casualties in here already. Let's, before we listen to this, let's go in. See what we've got. The trauma is okay. We've only got one trauma specialist. We have the meds, so let's put him straight in. We have two on the chemical ward. Neither of these are the German doctor, the, the POW German doctor that was rescued. So we'll put, we're going to put these... Oh, he's going to degrade quite fast. I'm going to put him in first. There's nothing coming up in the attacks so far, so that's good. Everyone's stable. But these three are going to degrade quickly, so let's do that. And then let's see what happens. Right, we're ready to go, I think. Dispatch from HQ. Report. German forces prepared a major offensive push and will strike soon on our part of the front. HQ reorganizes our forces to send reinforcements, but it will take them five more days. HQ orders the hospital to provide as many soldiers to the front line as we can and hold the front line till 8 o'clock on the 25th of September. Five days of continuous attack. Are we even able to hold that long? Let's hope so. But before we find out, let me just check the assignments. What have we got here? Okay, so these guys... I'll put them onto 12 hours. They're actually, there's not much happening at the front at the moment, so they're okay. Um, you can also go on 12 hour shifts, that's okay. And we may as well put these onto 12 hours. There's no need to run flat out at the moment. We're looking good. You know, you've, you say, you know, many Scots have never had that situation with the accent. I've got a client, he's, he's absolutely wonderful. He's, um, he's in his 80s, I think. He's got this lovely, soft Scottish accent, uh, but he talks really, really fast. And he, he reminds me of that guy Paul Whitehouse played on the Fast Show, the one who was always very, very drunk, and he, he, he couldn't understand half of what he said. And I, I love this guy's accent. He's amazing. He's got, like, white tufts of hair. looks like a mad professor. Um, just, just amazing character. Hey, Christy, we are playing War Hospital. There's a, a new... Well, it's a DLC that's just been sent to me. Um, I don't know if it's new, because it might have been out since the game released. I didn't check. But it's uh, the Marie Curie X-Ray DLC. So we're going to check it out. We will try. Just focus on providing me soldiers, Major Wells. My boys and I will hold the line. German forces prepared a major offensive push. HQ orders the hospital to provide as many soldiers to the front line as possible and hold the front till the reinforcements arrive at 8 o'clock on September the 25th. So this is a, it looks like a five-day or a four-day DLC at least. But uh, pause. What have we got? Okay. Right. This is going to be interesting. Have we got anyone in rehab? We have not. This is going to be a series of tough challenges. So we're probably not going to get much more of this. And I might have made a mistake by spending them already. We'll see. Hmm. Curious. Okay. So we're going to start off with some good news there. Let me have a look in the assignments. Does this guy have any single grandsons in their 40s? I will ask him. I, I think his uh, family might be a bit older than that. Nurses. Right, the operating ward. No, you're going to go on a 12-hour shift before you get exhausted, you guys. Uh, in fact, let's put all these on 12 hours. We're, I'm going to bring you guys out. I'm going to bring the tired ones out, and I'm going to put two of these in. Right, and that goes to 12 hours. And the ones who are working, the other two are going to go on the other shift and get some rest because they already look exhausted, which is not good. 
that's going to run just round the clock which is fine you're on two different shifts there so let's switch those over the engineers doing the things with no scouts to worry about okay all right let's let's roll on some yeah, game time on this is going to be new patient arrived this is going to be awkward this is going to be awkward to get people out in time uh, especially with trauma cases so those those staff points if we look like we're getting a lot of these in we're going to order another trauma specialist i, I dare say this is where we're going to have to put it actually right this guy's serious two hours two hours two hours okay you're going to go in there you're in good condition you can go in there and we'll set the rest Sir, oh bad news um Oh, we don't have we don't have the improvements in this. Uh, I guess we're following normal procedure then. This is good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I see. I see. Game. We're gonna have to get those shorter rehab. We're gonna take that every opportunity. Sir, engineers reached the construction site. Well, there's an ambulance seemingly working now, but there shouldn't be anyone in. Oh, that's coming in from somewhere else. That's okay. It's gonna it's gonna start working real soon. Sir. New patient arrived. Happy Candlemas? Is it Candlemas? I, I, I'm not familiar with the uh, Candlemas. All right, guys are coming in thick and fast now. Put you in there. You're in good condition. You can wait till someone's had a rest. Actually, no, you can't. It's okay. We'll just put you straight in there. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking trauma. I'm thinking. Let's get a trauma specialist in here. Can I actually, can I actually afford one? You need to go in there. We need to get the number threes out really soon. Um, let's put that on play for a moment. Staff overview. I don't need that one. I need, well, the improvements are gonna be hard to come by because I need sodding drafts to, to upgrade these and I've spent it on ambulances. Well, actually, that, that's not going to be a terrible idea because with these coming from the front so thick and fast, that might actually be a really good move. I'm sure we'll be able to send some guys out to get more, more of these, and there's, there's going to be some rewards, I hope, coming sometime soon. Yeah, the resources don't seem to be the problem here. I wonder if it's just for the DLC that they've adjusted these costs. Uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff that we can't actually improve. All right, let's let's play on. Sir, new patient arrived. There's a hell of a lot of people coming in there very fast. Uh, I guess we just put him in the queue. And on here, well, we've got someone stable. Hmm, serious. I'm gonna put you there. Nobody dies yet, so that's that's good. And you can come out after the rest. But there's, there's so many folks coming through here. That train station just dropped a load on there. So we've got that done first. Let's have a look at the engineers. So they've just finished upgrading the pharmacy. So let's put you in there. And I think we jump straight into this here. And I think we're going straight on... 24 hour shifts here because that needs improving rapidly hey rob good afternoon what's to do Sir, with the new dlc the it's a good question because this is the it's called the x-ray dlc or the marie curie dlc this might be something to do with it haven't seen anything new about that at the moment so i think she comes with an ambulance or something to help i'm not sure HQ requested to send them surgical supplies if possible. They're experiencing shipment delays, if so. Well, just no. <laughs> That's not the right time. Oh, we do have four hours to fill this in. It would give us some staffing points. Yeah, I was going to look at that, wasn't I? So we could get we could get a trauma specialist. It's only three. Right, that leaves us points to get something else. The engineers we can't do without the housing. We could have a medic... And a, I'm going to do this. A medic and a nurse. Or two nurses. No, one of each. 
I'm just going to confirm the order. We're going to spend it. And we're going to get those in as soon as possible. And hope I've got it the right choice. So Candlemas is a festival of light and the presentation of Jesus to the temple after his birth. Oh, okay. The light coming into the world. I've heard of it, but um, I'm, uh, I'm not, a, not a religious man, so I'm not overly familiar with it. Do you not think the map graphics gives an atmosphere and gravitas to the game? It certainly looks like dark and downbeat. It looks like it's constantly overcast and miserable, which um, I suppose it's supposed to be adding that sort of level of seriousness to the game as in it's... Oh, I've never noticed that. Does a, does a flag move? Sir, it does. Nice. We've got some guys trading over there. That's, that's kind of cool. I've never noticed those before. Flipping heck. This is going to take some... Uh, some looking after, isn't it? Okay, so this guy's about to have a rest. We get a stable one in first. The good one, it's, it's, uh, actually you can go in there. Three star or three chevron. And stable. Ah, he's not going to last that long. Because of the rest. These are in good condition here. So he, he actually wants to go to the front, doesn't he? And so do you. And then we'll just pin that rest there. So that's fine. And then we actually you need to go in front there. If we do that. Okay. So far, we're managing that. We need to build a lot more of these. Which we are working on, so... Did it say how many to send for this? 32 supplies. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That is utterly ridiculous. And we've got four hours to build them. I guess we could have ordered some from the train with this. But um, it would have used all of those for two staff points. I don't think that's a good uh, goodbye. Wouldn't it be nice to see a cutscene of uh, Snoopy versus the Red Baron in the game? Yeah, I used to love that. That's that's the only reason I used to watch the Peanuts cartoon. Sir, new patient arrived. You know, you mentioned that. Just the other day, I don't know if you guys or anyone out there will remember this. I used to play a game called Wings on the Amiga. It was like a World War One flight combat game. I won't say simulator. There was an almost simulator mini game in it. And another one where you're bombing trains and strafing stuff. I absolutely loved that game. It was absolutely amazing. And I, I just saw it was something about it being remastered the other day. And I thought, oh, should I play that again? Or will it just um, spoil good memories? Oh, God, what's happening at the casualty clearing station? Right, so you guys just need to come out. Or I, I take them off the shift. No, we'll put 24-hour shifts on. Until I can put this right. That's not good. Okay, we'll leave the other two as they are. Although the cemetery shift doesn't matter. So let's take someone off there. Uh, this this does seem to matter. So an advanced dressing station at the moment is not so important. Sir, but it's about to get very busy up there. Are on the way. Don't worry, mate. We have the best nurses Drum around. Is coming. Brace your hearts, men. Okay. We weren't as well prepared for this as I would like to have been, but there's nothing we could have done. Oh, got some new graphics here. Pause. Okay. What's the situation up here then? We've currently got... We've only got four wounded in the trenches. That's actually really good news because I thought it was going to be absolutely dire. So, advanced dressing station. Um, I'm going to put three in there. Actually, let's put four in there. Let's get this fixed really quick. Get them out of the trenches into the advanced dressing station. Super fast. Uh, there was something else as this. Oh, this is the patient's body is able to fight off the infection. Shorter rehab. I'm going to go for decreased cost because at the moment, this is going to be a, a problem for us. And we have two in the rehab center. So we have very little choice over this. 
We need to get these guys out and we've got a day. Actually, I don't think we have, no, they're not gonna get, get out in time. So this is gonna be bad. We need to alter this. So we've got new priorities here. So the nurses, um, we're definitely gonna have to put more in here and in rehab. Oh, sorry, no, we need to put more in here, don't we? I've got another nurse coming and they're gonna go straight into rehab. So we're gonna put you onto the other shift and she can rest up because she's slightly tired. We'll do it like that, I think. Hmm. I'm going to have to look at, see if I can upgrade things that will improve rehab for this. So maybe, maybe we need to restart already. Sir, medics are on the way. We'll run with it. We'll see what we can save. But that seems like, unless these missions are randomised, that seems like an absolutely crazy mission to start uh, the game with. To, to send 32 of these over. I guess I could have ordered it, but even so. Right then, nurses. We're going to get two out in time. But re rehab's going to be a problem. Crap. Patient's immune system is not reacting well. There's a high risk of infection. Without additional medicine supplies, we could lose him. That's plus 10. That's, that's a, oh, that's not good. Um, but these guys are all done. Excellent. 24 hours. Uh, huh. I guess we just leave these guys in to switch them over when they're exhausted then. We're doing 3.1 per hour. I think that's, do these have preferences? Would prefer to work in the engineering depot. I could put some in the engineering depot. No, I'm going to need to switch them over. So we'll leave them at that. It's not good. Was a bit of an understatement. Where's Where's Marie Curie with her flipping um, X-ray machine? That's what I want to see. Sir, a strange truck arrived at the hospital. The driver insisted on meeting you, Major. Right on time. Good day to you, Major Wells. I am Marie Skłodowska Curie. Good day to you too, Madam Curie. What can I do for you, Madam? The truck that I arrived in contains a cutting-edge X-ray machine. It is intended to use in advanced dressing stations and hospitals on the front to help with diagnosis and operations. Just do this one. Decreased oh, decreased cost for those is not so important, but shorter operation is. Very useful. Unfortunately, during my last stay near the front line, the machine was damaged by artillery shrapnel and is currently non-operational. It was a miracle I was able to drive it here. If you would be so kind to borrow me your hmm. engineers and supplies to repair it, I would be much obliged. I am sure that my truck can be of help to you, even if you have your own x-ray. Well, we don't, so yes. Uh, I guess there's a mission for this. Right, help with repairs. Two engineers will be sent to help with repairs for 10 hours. I, I think we absolutely have to do this though. So this is gonna this is gonna sting us a little bit. I've done the electricity thing. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Game is throwing us some <laughs> some wild balls already. You saw the shock and panic on my face. There's going to be a lot more of that, I think. Shorter rehab. That's very nice. Right, so we've got... Hang on, it must be, is it something up here? Soldiers in the trenches can't keep up with fixing the defence lines. Angus requests that we send engineers to help them with the task at hand. He points out it's critical, critical that they finish fixing it before another battle. Two engineers will be occupied for the next eight hours. If I do that, then I have zero supplies. Oh my god, this... This is... This is brutal. All right, so that mission's passed. We're not going to... There's no way we're going to do that. The casualty clearing station is going mad. So let's take a look at this. We've got people in that are serious. I'm serious, man. Okay, I need to put the rest in there. He doesn't die, so that's good. You are going to have to go down there, I think. <laughs> oh, God, this is... 
This is tricky. He's at least going to get seen. And the stable one we're going to have to put in there. I think that's okay. I think that's okay for the time being. The chemical ward. These guys are at least stable, but we'll put them in, in front. I have none of these supplies being created, but that is okay for the moment. And on trauma... Sorry, trauma. I had a panic then when I saw all that. Uh, brilliant. So you're operating. We can get straight on with you. And then straight on with... Actually, I'll put you in there. And you in there. And we have a rest. So our trauma specialist is going. That means we've got a nurse. That means we have... We should have a spare medic. So there's still... There's two of those waiting in there. No one needs burying, so that's good news. I think the nurse... Oh, she's about to come off shift, so that is that is fine. I'd like more nurses in there, but we, we just can't do it. So over there, and you guys... I'm getting 87% bonus to rehab from this. So we've got two nurses working. Well, I can't put them round the clock because they'll just exhaust, but... Do they have preferences, by the way? Because this, if we can help morale, this will, this will hugely help. We'd prefer to work in the rehab centre. Yes, so great. We can switch these two over. These have exactly the same face. Look at that. Four bonuses to morale. She's fine. And she'd like to work on the first shift in the 12-hour system. So that's, that's good. We have one spare engineer for the next four hours and then somebody comes off. This is going to be really rough, isn't it? Unless I can find something else to do. I might have to just send the odd one over here. Oh, he's ready to go. Excellent. Thank goodness for that. That was seriously, seriously desperate. Uh, we do need to get this going up to blue. So despite the fact they're not going to be ready for the first one, they will be for the next one. Sir, patient is cured. Uh, we're going to get... Sir, nurses are on the way. God, the nurses have just changed shift, which doesn't help with this. The ambulances is working. Amazing. Utterly amazing. That's excellent. So we are seeing medics come because there's no ambulance available. We only have the one Sir, at the moment. nurses reach the rehab. The ADS can't be understaffed. We've got all the medics we've, we can put in there. So rehab is going like crazy. Sir, operation was successful. Oh, God, what's this? Hopefully... Sir, new patient arrived. You know, I'm just going to save. I don't know. Do you see anything about auto-saving? Oh, here we go. Yeah, there is an auto-save file at the bottom, which saved a minute ago. So we don't quite know how often that's that's saving, but that's that's good news. So let's go back. We've got two upgrades. No, these are quests. Life of the party. As you sit at your desk, you notice a small note. It says that medic team Anton Moore slacks off, but no one says anything because he is liked. What's more, he often works hangover. He often works hangover. I'm guessing he often works with a hangover and it happened today too. No tens with a request to do something about it. What will you do? I will speak to Anton Moore. And we've got this one. Person comes to your office. Sir, my boss wants me to work faster. The thing is, I'm doing my job thoroughly, so obviously I can't work as fast. I believe it's better to do it a bit slower, but well, than fast and poorly. Could you tell them I'm right? I am your boss. You will tell, you'll tell her's superior they can work slower but thoroughly. I think a little bit more work might need doing in the translation team here. I think it's a French company that's developed this. They've, they've done a good job with most things. This feels, some of this feels a little bit rushed. She should work faster indeed. You will, I'll speak to her superior. Ask her's superior about her's job. <laughs> I love reading uh, translations into English that aren't quite right. It, it just makes me smile so much because that's probably exactly what it would sound like if I tried to translate anything into French or German because I have a, a very poor grasp of those languages. It's like watching Love Actually when Colin Firth Sir, tries to speak arrived. in Portuguese at the end. And uh, he, gets, he gets the message across, but it's not quite right. 
I think it's cool. So we've got two people who are in good state here. So you're go actually you're going in there because we need those three stars out. And you're just you're just good. So you should be okay to go on the end of there. This guy's gonna die. Unless I move the rest to there, so Yeah, I'm gonna have one person seriously tired, but I don't think that we can do much else with that. Where is Nightingale when you need it? We need all the Nightingale nurses we can get. What have we got? It seems a continuous combat had an impact on the patient's mind. He shows signs of fatigue and exhaustion without physical reason. He's going to have longer rehab because that's all we can do. It's nice to see the uh, ambulances moving. Gone. The ambulance is gone. It's just gone. Sir, operation was successful. Okay, what's the situation here? Well, everyone's going back into the trenches. There's just no... We're getting that ready. I wonder, do you know what? As this, is, this is serious panic stations. Let me have a look Sir. at the assignments on the nurses. 24 hours, and let's see how much this increases up here. Uh, the medic teams, you can. these guys can go back to... Uh, no, no one's needed over there, that's good. So let's put two guys in here. These guys are already tired, so that's fine. Let's put you onto there. We'd prefer not to work in casualty clearing. Oh, he wants to work in the eight. Right, take him out. We prefer to work in casualty clearing. So anything we can get a nice... Um, he'd prefer to work in the cemetery. I want to get the morale up as much as possible here. He'd prefer to work in... Right, put him in there then. So let me just... Um, this shift system. Let me just take the tight guys out a sec so I can actually see. Hmm. We prefer to work in the cemetery. He doesn't want to work. Actually, in the advanced dressing station, that you don't need all these guys in there now. So let's put two of these over here. Does it say... Well, they're not going to be happy either way. Who's the, who's the one that wants to work in the cemetery? I'm going to put them in there. They can have a rest, but I'm just generating morale, so that's good. Um, and I don't care that you don't want to work in here. Let's put them on that, and then put them on that, and that should assign them in a sensible manner. And this is going to be a backup for now, although that's going to be needed up there very quickly. So the nurses are going to get exhausted fairly soon, but uh, I am going to try and push some more away. soldiers out for this, if we can do it. Fred Hurley will no longer be fit for duty. Sacrifice the patient's eyesight. We have no option for this. It appears the patient's eyes were heavily contaminated by the chemical agent. That's Sir, a shame. We lost this patient. patient Marguerite Nzugu? I never saw that name pop up. Anson Moore, the same person complaint spoke about, comes to your desk. You immediately notice a faint smell of alcohol. I think I know why you called me, sir starts but I only drink to make friends with local people I promise I think it's important that they trust us and that's why I do it ask him to stop drinking you can't come in stinking drunk with hangovers uh, military discipline wouldn't allow that ask him to stop drinking I don't care about making friends with locals He's not here to make Sir, bloody friends Just pause that. Medics reach the casualty clearing There's station. a lot going on suddenly. Hey, Cass, did they fix the ambulances? Supposedly so. Uh, we've seen some use of the ambulance already. What they've actually patched is that the medics in the advanced dressing station will now put loading the ambulances 
as a higher priority than fetching wounded from the trenches. So if they've got wounded here and an ambulance is waiting, these guys' priority will be to get a wounded person into the ambulance. Then the ambulance will sod off by itself because uh, I don't think they require medic staff. Um, and then these guys will go and do whatever's next on the priority list. So that's what they said they've done in the patch. You wish the staff had different pictures? Yes, it would be nice just to make it easier to differentiate, wouldn't it? So they fixed a few other things in the patch as well, and I'm really pleased to see there's an autosave in there now. Come on, nurses. Come on, 24-hour shift going on here. Sir, new patient arrived. How quickly can we get people out? Three hours? Is it in time? It is in time. The four hour one isn't, sadly. But at least we're going to go blue for the rest. At least it's gone green. Unlike the patient's leg. Uh, let's see. After a thorough examination. Oh, this looks. I know what's coming on here. I believe the patient's symptoms to be fake and he's simply trying to avoid deployment. Yeah. Shorter rehab. And the 20 hours shorter rehab is definitely. Definitely Sir, a thing here. Cured. Sir, medics reached the casualty clearing station. Do we have the engineers back? Not yet. I would like to click on this, but we need the engineers back first. We're just hanging on here. Actually, I need to look in this. Terminal critical stable. We still... Oh, my God. Well... We absolutely can't save everyone, so we're going to have to put some strong priorities on here. Uh, the guy who's critical up there... Unless I amputate... We can't amputate because I don't have the thing. I don't have the upgrade for it, so... this We're going to make some pretty tough choices already. Can I fit these guys in anywhere else? We're getting this critical one would be more use getting, like, getting him in, wouldn't it? So, uh, I don't want to do it, but we're going to do it. We've got two three-star legends here. This guy's only three hours. Let's put him in there. So we lose him at the back, which is a shame. Unless I put him in there. And then we lose him. It's because of the rests. But we can't avoid that, because otherwise they're going to go exhausted. The three-star terminal guy. What if I put him in there? Is that enough? Absolutely not. Unless I move the rest. He's already exhausted. What if I put him in there and move the rest? Doesn't matter. Right, he's out. Just decision made. Let's put him in the, the equation. And I don't think... Okay, we've had to make some tough choices, but it's, it's, I guess it's what we do. He's having a rest first, that's okay. <laughs> it didn't take long, did it? A person that introduces himself as superior of Sophie Ewart, who paid you a visit a few hours ago, sits at your desk. Sir, with all due respect, I think she misled you. The truth is, she is slacking, and I believe it's because someone will always have her back. You see, I've watched her work alone once, and she was working a lot faster and still maintaining quality. I think we could make her work alone and see if it helps. Actually, I have quite a good idea about what job she could do. Well, tell me what job she's going to do, because that's going to make a massive choice, isn't it? Because if, if she's going to get like the perk that says, works better alone in the rehab station, that's not going to be an option, because I can't put her in there alone. She'll be unavailable for 12 hours. I don't think so. Let's monitor her performance. Oh, the pharmacies. I, I knew that was coming, actually. The engineers at the pharmacy are exhausted with very little option to help with this. I could go till they are truly exhausted, but we're going to try this. All right, this damn x-ray machine better be the, the best thing ever. Uh, let's have a look. A look, it appears the patient suffers from pneumonia. I'd like to administer treatment. We can afford to do that. It's the chemical stuff. So we can just afford to do that. Just.
This game... Oh, this DLC feels... Uh, I'm not sure at the moment. I don't know whether it feels tough or whether it just feels a little bit ill-designed. Emily Gawon died after being denied. These are odd names. Wyatt Chaplin died in the admission area. Slight decrease to morale. Is there, any, is there people still waiting here? Yes, there is. This dude is stable, but he's three stars. So you... Actually, you go to the front of the list. You fit in right behind. And then... We just can't get through this, can we? What if I put him in a different lit column? Well... Whichever way we do this, we're losing this one. They're exhausted and need rest. And we can't amputate. So we're just going to have to assign them to the, to the sad corner, unfortunately. Hey, no fun for you. Welcome back. War Hospital again. You expected Warhammer, but maybe this is better. Oh, yeah. Uh, sadly, I'm not going to stream any more of the Warhammer 40k game. My voice just could not take all that reading. It was, it was insane. The next day, my voice was so shot, my throat was so sore, um, I, I just couldn't stream. So, um, sadly, I mean, I'd, I'd like to play more of it, which I'll do off stream and maybe do a review someday, but uh, um, I couldn't. I couldn't honestly keep up with that one. It's too much. It's difficult, but you did say to up the difficulty. Yes, towards the end. What I was saying about... Uh, sorry, I, I maybe lost my train of uh, thought there. What I was going to say about the um, difficulty of this is that I think they're throwing a load of events in at the start of this DLC when you can't possibly meet any of them. Like the requirements for this, um, the staff going off shift... With this coming in, you can't possibly do without a nurse. It's just, just not a thing. And I wonder if it's designed to make you really struggle or think. Or if it's just not very well designed at all. I'm not sure yet. We shall have to see. Right, so now we can go and help the engineers in the trenches. Just in... Whoa, hang on. Are we, not on, we should be on pause. That just, that just ticked down. We're on pause, but that did tick down. That was 0013 when we came in here. And it just ticked down. Uh, just, I'm not going mad. I'm sure that just happened. But anyway, two engineers will be occupied for the next eight hours. We gained staff points. So yes, let's do this. So again, we're losing engineers. But that's fine because if we go into here, we're, we've got to take them out because they're exhausted. And we've got people working just full out on this. Uh, so that's just gone. Green is okay. I think green is okay. Patient's got severe burns, but seems his body is starting to heal. Excellent. So we're going to have a fight, and then I'm going to reassess the nurse shifts and put them back onto 12-hour shifts, I think. Because we can't maintain 24-hour shifts in there indefinitely. He's a plus two, so he's definitely going in there. What I want is eventually get some to go to headquarters. And we'll get a few little um, drafts that we can then spend to, to upgrade things. So, I think we're okay at the moment. Let's tick on time. Is there anyone waiting in this? No, everyone's in a queue, but everyone's about to die horribly. Hmm. We have a few hours to decide how this is going to work. I can wake them up early and maybe save them all. So, 2.22. If I look about 4 a.m. and we'll, we'll, we'll check this again. I think we might just have to assign them to the bin because this battle is going to kick off and then everyone's going to be going through again. Ready your weapons. Germans are approaching. Here we go. <laughs> I put an apple. Hi, how's it going? Well, we've stopped him again, although we're taking casualties. Okay, so the, the, the brought new um, battle graphics in there. They definitely look a bit more interesting than the last one, but uh, if they're going to use the same ones over again, it'll be a bit of a shame. So over to here, we've got four wounded in the trenches. We're already on blue. 
This is great. So the first job is go to the nurse assignments and put this on a 12 hour shift. That's good. People are going to come out in time. As long as we keep these blue, we're good. Uh, we're on 3 a.m. If they get exhausted, they get exhausted. We, we might need to be a bit of micromanaging to shift them around. The medic teams currently okay. These are not currently working over there. And what we will do is put them in there. And I'm going to put those on a 12 hour shift system for now. Until they get those four guys out. That, that should be enough. They should be able to manage it quick enough like that. So we've nearly got the x-ray machine coming in. That'll give me two more engineers, which is going to be gratefully accepted. That bit's okay. Over here, the plus three definitely goes in here, which is then changing these colours. The plus ones, they're the ones we're going to actually send out. So we've got the, the battle thing back on track, which is great. We just need to keep that nice and strong at the front. I, th I think we're okay again. Let's go. So 4 a.m. I'm going to recheck this and see what the situation is. Um, not sadly, you also started to play, what, the Rogue 40k game? Uh, Rogue Trader. You work in IT, so you have to read a lot of logs every day. You couldn't manage that Warhammer at all without many reading, including a lot of fictional technical words you didn't even understand, so that game would be a delete for you. Uh, it's a shame like that. Um, I did think it was good that they had a lot of the background lore in and that you could mouse over things in the tooltip to then find out more about that lore. I'm not usually one who goes in for that, but I'd like to see it in games so that people can uh, choose whether they want it. But it was it was too much reading and talking for um, for me to be able to to cope with. Unfortunately, hang on a sec. That's not four people in the trenches. That's five. Has it changed? It's changed. Okay, six people in the trenches. Twenty four hour shift. Everyone get in there and get them out now. Two patients died after being denied admission. So. Nobody's going to die here. Excellent. Possibly they will, but... Possibly they won't. We shall see. So I'm going to wake these guys up early. This might go very bad for me with the new ones coming in. Hey, it's done. We fixed the thing. Uh, Mrs. Curie, not Madam Curie, but Mrs. Curie, and a truck could be used to help with the operations in hospital. If we were to supply her with needed resources, she could use a cutting-edge X-ray machine to ensure that hospital operations run smoothly. Use the truck. Greatly increases the chances for operation success for the next five patients. Minus 200. Can we do that over and over? We were to supply... Okay, so I think we just basically... Is that how it's going to work? We just keep feeding her resources? That would be a bit of a shame. So nurses in the operating room. This always happened, didn't it? On the 12-hour shift system, nurses would always become exhausted in here. I'm wondering if I could pull people out now of this one. We're going to get some more staff points, so we're going to get another nurse. What I'll have to do is I'm just going to have to flick these shifts over for now. and I'm just going to have to juggle them around like that, which is fine. We can, we can manage like that. So this game landed in my lap, or this expansion landed in my lap just uh, yesterday. So th that was kind of cool. It's nice to go and finish it off and see what's what's going. I know a lot of you guys like watching it. Uh, next week, it's going to be the Steam Next Fest demo week, where there's all sorts of games to try. And I've got a couple lined up that I, I want to try, and we'll see what else um, comes along as well. So it might be a week of very different games next week. Seems the patient's will is strong, and recent events have made less impact than expected. He seems to be responding to treatment really well. Short of rehab. Seriously, I, I hope that uh, that Marie Curie with the X-ray is more than just a machine that you feed resources into that gives you a better chance of, of patient success. I, I really do hope it's a bit more than that. It's not an expensive DLC, this, and it is a different scenario, I suppose, here. But uh, but even so, it would be nice. Three stars to the trenches. 
fact, threes and twos to the trenches because you'll notice that these are still quite bad. Um, and this stuff, someone has to be released from duty because we, we didn't save them. Uh, let's have a look. Infection was not serious and high hopes he's dehydrated. He's going to have to go for longer rehab. And his mate gets shorter rehab. So there is that. Was that a change of shift? Ambulance is working. We only have one ambulance at the moment. This is another one that brings in random stuff from... It's not, it's not one of ours. I think. I don't know where the other one went off to. Okay, so how many are left in the trenches? There's still four in the trenches. There's one wounded there. Is that ours? Right, that's ours. That's nice. I like the way it parks in there. So, let's see if this priority thing actually works here. They're supposed to drop this guy off and load one into the ambulance, and the ambulance drives off by itself? Which it does. Okay. So, it looks like the ambulances are now working much better than they did before. Medic from here grabs one, takes them in here. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with that change. Uh, let's have a look at... Um, oh, this, this is a trauma patient. He exhibits strong tendencies for vengeance towards enemy combatants. Yeah, yeah. Let's um, take advantage of that. Now, what was that message about Dr. Arno Altman awaits new assignments by not being checking this out? Okay. These are just one stars. I think we... And, uh, hmm. Let's go into one of the other ones first. Okay, this is good. Extremely exhausted. We're going to put a rest in there. You have a rest there. In the trauma ward. Trauma's okay. Apart from we've got someone serious coming in. Uh, they're not too long though, so I think... I think, I think we can fit them in here before this. So he's going to have another rest. If I put him in there, no. Okay. And then that guy dies at the end. Unless we put him there. And then the two good ones, I guess we just, just throw on the end somewhere. I'm going to try and fit these in. Actually, let's put the serious one in there. Nope. That doesn't work, because that's a long rest. This is just a four-hour rest. Yeah, I'm going to try and save him. Back to trauma. Trauma's fine. You can go in there, and that's good. And on this side, this is also good, because I think this now just gives us... If I do that, he's, he's going to be very tired. He doesn't need to do that, so let's let's not carefully manage that one do i have to deal with the scouts no because in this one there is absolutely nothing for them to do so we don't have any scouts we could recruit some but there's nothing to do so that's run out so basically we just keep feeding the x-ray truck hang on a minute it says for the next five operations. Oh, I see. So it is for the next five operations, but it's on a four-hour cooldown. That's okay. I see how that works. Let's have a look at my staff a minute, because we should have engineers who are now free. And we do, and I need to start worrying about this. They're fixing the frontline defenses. You guys can come and have a rest. Let me put the three fresh ones in. And we do not care about their preferences because we just can't worry about that at the moment. The nurses, they've switched over shifts and she's gonna be utterly exhausted in no time. So we switch them back again. <laughs> this poor nurse here, is like, I've just come off shift twice. Did the engineers, the medic teams are doing okay. There's still one wounded in the trenches. I don't think we need all those in. So who would like to work in the cemetery? move you over there's only this one who doesn't have a preference and he can actually start working on burying the dead 
and we'll leave these guys in on a 12 hour shift. So I think a nurse, another nurse would be nice. Nice, easy job, that's what we like to see. And we've got some staff points, excellent. Let's go into this. The only thing, I mean, we could have medics, but we're doing okay. We could have scouts, but I don't see... Well, this is, this is curious. If I were to hire a scout... I can hire one scout, and it costs me nothing. So I can get one scout for free. So I may as well take it. Look, total is zero. The first one was free. In case it opens up any scouting missions by having a scout. I don't think it will. But it's not going to lose anything apart from we have to feed the guy. And the other one, we can't do the engineers because they're full. But we can take a nurse. So I will take a nurse. We'll give it a go, eh? See what the scout does, if anything. Meanwhile... Uh, the next load... We're only getting 23 food per delivery here. That's not a lot, but it's... Well, we should be okay. Getting a ton of resources, though. So I think that we're getting so many resources just so that we can keep on feeding um, the x-ray machine. Shorter rehab. Uses need for vengeance during... There's a lot of vengeance needs going on there. Do you know what there isn't coming through? There isn't coming through... Oh, the wounded are out of there? Are they all in here? I guess there wasn't too many to start with, but we are going to get some from the uh, train, I think. And someone's just died of their wounds. Um, an accurate diagnosis. Hmm. Adjust the procedure to ease the doctor. Right, what have we got? So, the plus threes go in there. The plus ones are sent back to headquarters. And that's another plus three. Because these must be big battles coming at the end. Alright, so they've definitely got the game working a bit better. And so far we haven't encountered any bugs. Just a little bit of dodgy translation. I can definitely live with that. It's nice to see that they are actually working on the game. And they're not just going to do like, uh, what was it, the day before developers where they release something i mean day before was in no way comparable to this i just want to point out but they like released a broken game they knew they were releasing a broken game and then they ran for their lives afterwards uh, it's the developers that seem interested in making it work better and fixing it which is great it would have been nice if they'd done that before they released it but uh, at least they are working on it now so they're all on that i'm gonna have to switch the shifts here I would absolutely love the shift system to actually work properly where people don't get exhausted on a 12 hour shift. The cemetery needs a medic team. We do have a medic team in there and they are on the shift at the moment so how bizarre. Right let's put you on to they um, yeah I'll put you on 12 hours and then they will actually rest up but we're going to move someone out. No preference, no preference. I'll put them on the medic station. Someone rests, someone works, and that should be good. That's about to finish again, so... Uh, ooh, 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 pause, 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 pause. We have some drafts. Well, first off, we will feed that again, but let's have a look at the improvements. So I want something... This is what we want, isn't it? But that's going to be super expensive. Increases the speed of patient rehab by a lot. That would be very, very good. We could have more medic teams in the advanced dressing station. I don't think we need that. More beds for the patients in casualty clearing. Oh, that would be good. Decreases patient condition loss. Is there anything we can afford now that's cheap? Standard issue painkillers decreases speed of patient deterioration by 25%. From from where? From Is it from everyone? Because that's massive. Okay, there are some very good things to spend on here. 
Hypnosis would be good. The medical drip's too expensive. Uh, what else have we got here? Amputation tools. No, I never amputated anyone in the first game. I, we maybe don't need to here either. So we're looking for a cheap one. I like this. Decreases the speed of patient condition deterioration by 25%. That gives us more time. I'm going to improve that. That gives us more time in casualty clearing. So, four engineers, please. And the other one who's doing nothing, we are likely to run out of these, I think. So, in you go. We do have plenty of alcohol at the moment. And when they're finished upgrading, we can assign these guys to some jobs too. Right then, get to work. The eye wash, yes, the eye wash would have been good because we lost that guy's eyesight, didn't we? Keep using the x-ray truck. It seems cheap enough to feed. So it's 800, is that 800 per day? No, four hours, that's not right. Times that by six. 1,200 a day and we're getting delivered 1,900 a day and using the rest to build bandages. Okay, I think we can do that. Ah, we're back to that graphic. Okay, and that one. Interesting. I wonder if that's because we had the blue... We had it at blue status. Uh, we want the medics. So we've got four more in the trenches. 24-hour shift. I think they might need to get burying people there. I'm going to have to drag two out. Which leaves only... Haha, <laughs> that's 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 awkward. Okay, you can go in uh yeah, go on, you're rested up. We'll put you in there. Hmm. Okay, well we're gonna work this as best we can. I think they're gonna throw a lot of chemical attacks. Could do, it's it's hard to know what's gonna come in. We could do some more beds in here, I think. Oh my god, we, oh, this, this, wow. Oh, the train brought all this in. Okay, so you're going to need a rest there. Uh, this serious guy. Right, we need to alter that. The one who's stable is going to die. But this, this is, this isn't going to matter because we're going to have to put these guys in. Let's just drop these onto the back of the list at the moment. For all it says serious, he's gonna he's gonna live there. You better put the rest on there. Can I do it there or not? No, he's already exhausted. He's got five hours of resting to go. He can go in there though, because that's a stable one. Okay, that doesn't. Uh, that's an eight-hour operation. I think an eight-hour operation. Hmm, it's more of a complicated one as well. That's sad to see, but um, uh, there's only so much our guys can do. We could definitely do with another surgeon, couldn't we? So he's serious. Can he fit in there? It's the, we we save a serious. No, he's gonna this no, because he's not gonna degrade as fast as this guy. And if I put him in there, it's a six-hour op. He's out. So we've got stable people in again. They're all dead. I've seen them all die. Yes, it's it's brutal, mate. I know. It's it's absolutely brutal. He doesn't even live if we put him there. I want the three stars saving though for sure. Oof. It's because of the rests. Uh, maybe if I can upgrade the houses to get the doctors to rest faster. Let's go and see what it's like on the trauma ward. This is more... <laughs> looking more promising. Thank God. Let's do that. So you go on the exhausted one there. And on the chemical ward... The chemical ward is the only one we're managing on at the moment. Can I just put you straight there? No, you'll be exhausted again. It's okay. It's okay, you can rest up and just do the whole lot in one go. 
I'm going to leave those. I can't decide. I know what I need to do. I do know what I need to do. I need to do this. As sad as it is, it has to be done. And in the meantime, we can put these on the end just to see where people are going to fit in. But I think this is going to be some sad times ahead. Unless we get this and we get someone on shorter rehab for it. Yeah, increased cost. I'll take that one. We can actually afford the bits at the moment, so that's good news. Just. That's kind of brutal. Who's in rehab? So we're on blue. We're going to carry on with this tactic of putting the, uh, the, the threes in. Sending the ones home. The two? The two I'm not so sure about. I do feel like we need to get some upgrades built. Camp improvements. Uh, what's going to help? So at the moment we've got a morgue, which is not so exciting. The anti-tetanus system. Or the gangrene removal equipment. We can't afford either at the moment. The amputation tools. If I do that... It gives us the option, doesn't it? So we're going to have fewer people die... Something that's going to... What's going to speed things up? The eyes irrigation solutions. That was that was a good thing to choose, wasn't it? Hypnosis. Okay, that increases the time of operations, but decreases the, the rehab. There's difficult choices here. Hey, enough, enough. There's a new update. Does the ambulance work now? It does, yes. It seems to be working a lot better. It was about prioritising the... Um, the medics in the ADS station, so that instead of going and getting more wounded soldiers from the trenches, if there was a wounded person working, they now prioritise him to put him in the ambulance over going up to the trenches. And it seems to have done the job. So that's that's quite nice. Um, I don't know about these. This this would be... The rest... It's only 10% on rest time. I need to get the rest to make a difference, I think. That's useless. That's warehouse stuff. Decreases production cost. I don't think there's anything we're going to buy here. Oh, apart from this one, increases production speed by 25% in the pharmacy and the engineering depot. And that decreases the cost in resources, which is is, is nice, but uh, the scouting we don't need to worry about. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to save on to those drafts for a minute. I can't decide there. Hmm. Some bad news. Well, longer rehab's okay. I don't mind that. And this guy's on shorter rehab because he has high spirit. So, uh, yeah, it's it's a um, it's a mixed thing. Some tough choices. We've got the standard issue painkillers, which might actually. God damn. What if I put you in there? No, we need the stable. What if I put you in there? <laughs> Can't do this. All right, it's a seven-hour operation. We don't have amputation ability. I think we might get amputation ability. I think I might go... Yeah, let's go and do that. Sod it. Because it's going to help with morale, and I'm going to have fewer people die. So, if we have to do it, we have to do it. We want this one. We never did it before, but we're doing it now. Keep an eye on the resources down here as well. Your doggy's been extra cute today. You can't resist the face. He just brought me a leash and he's giving you a giant corgi eyes and wiggly a fluffy butt. Going on a walk. Okay. Enjoy the walk with the dog. I was out with my dog this morning on a walk. It was like really wild and windy here. Didn't seem to bother him much. Uh, who was exhausted? The nurses? Oh, the engineers. No, not the engineers. The medic teams. Oh, God, close to collapsing. They don't seem to be actually burying anyone in the cemetery. They seem to be piling corpses up there. 
There's only one left in the trenches. So you come out. Uh, two of you guys go in. You go on a 12-hour shift. So let's put this over. And we've got three and a half hours of this shift left, which will hopefully be just long enough for some... You'll do better on the other one, won't you? Nah, it's it's we'll, it's fine. It'll be fine. I think we've worked out that we can get away without doing the cemetery. We'll be able to amputate real soon. So, I might even be able to bring some of these guys out of here, but... I can't... S I wish I could see. Anyway, I put them on denied. We're, we're just going to go forwards with that. Hacksaw Mark. It could be my new name, yeah. Uh, you know in the cemetery, there's a stone with names of all your patients that died during the game? You can view it. Yep. It's it's in... Oh, maybe we can't see it here because... Just a minute. Just a minute. That sounds like someone dying. Can we not see... In the main game, you can. It looks like it's not here. It's it's here normally, isn't it? A button here, and you press. It's not there anyway. It's it's a story event in the main game because we're playing in a, in a DLC chapter. It's not there, it seems. Hey, JD, how's it going? They fetch the dead before they bury him. Well, that's true. They'll be they'll be bringing the dead back from somewhere, but um. There's a memorial that you click on. That's what it's called. It doesn't seem to be there in the in the DLC. Yep, use the x-ray truck. Keep throwing people into that. We've got one dead in the trenches, or one wounded in the trenches. I think they'll I think they'll fine. They'll be fine. They'll sort that out, I hope. Right, who's in. Did we get the staff, by the way? We did. But there's nothing for him to do. And the fact that it's not actually costing us anything, so uh, there's nothing to do with them. Well, there wasn't, was there? Not yet. Maybe something will come up later on, but not yet. Bit of a shame, that. So we've got the amputation tools. At this point, I'm going to switch these guys over before I forget. We're going to put three in there. And then we're going to put one into trauma meds. And we're going to switch them around as we need to. At least we can afford the alcohol, so that's good. The nurse, we got the extra nurse. Uh, in casualty clearing, that would be useful, but also in operation wards. Where does she want to work? She wants to work in the operating ward. That settles it then. So we'll put her in there and operation effectiveness goes up. Right, I think we seem to be managing okay. So plus three to the trenches. You out there. Oh, bad news. Complications from influenza. Yeah, give him the supplies. And patient has pulmonary oedema. Odema? Edema? He's coughing up a bloody froth. His hopes of survival are drastically lower. We can't do anything about that, sadly. Unless... Actually, that's not quite true now. It's too late for him. But we can make the low-pressure gas tanks. They'll be unfit for combat, but... Go on then, put them in there. It won't take long to, to build that. They'll have a rest first. Or will they? Maybe not. Nasty lung problem, eh? So what was the ding-dong that went off? Is it something that I need to be aware of? I guess so. Oof. Serious. Uh, can I... Actually, can you go in earlier? If I did... Oh, that's... that's put that back. <laughs> it's because it's a six hour operation, that's why. I'm going to wait till he's fully rested and then he can do those three and keep them alive. 
this chat. Oh, we can't. Yeah, we can fit them in there. No, we can't. Actually, if I do it like that, either way, this serious guy is doomed. Even if I amputate, he's doomed. What if I amputate him and him? He's still doomed, so that doesn't help. But what if I bring him out of rest now and amputate him? No, he's still doomed. So what if I put him in there? He's okay. So that's okay. We get the serious ones through. I'm not sure that he's going to survive that, but, but anyway. And the good ones... People in good condition get seen. Well, three stars get seen before one stars, that's for sure. We seem to be just hanging on by the skin of our teeth on this. So anything I can do to help with the resting, if I can upgrade the buildings, the 10% rest will help. We've got a new battle coming up soon as well. Well, we're getting through things, so it's, it's okay. Doing better than I thought it was going to do. Three patients died. Yeah, but we expected that. Someone's exhausted in the operating ward. It's 7.25pm. She finishes at 8, so I'm going to leave her there. She's absolutely fine. The medics, however... They shouldn't have too much to do. He's exhausted. They finish at eight. Let's let's leave it. It'll be it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. I don't think they'll go to collapsing in the space of half an hour. Strong will, thank you very much. Alright, we seem to have this at the moment. Let's see what happens next. Superficial, oh, superficial burns by the gas, that's good news. More people are dying due to being denied admission. Well, it is true. Unfortunately, we couldn't do much to help. Yet. But we, we'll, we'll see. We'll try and keep the future ones alive. If we have to lop a few limbs off, then that is the way it has to be. Um, excellent. Just good news for us. So we've got a few hours before the next battle, which is a relief, because it gives us a little bit of time to try and clear the, the clearing station here. What doesn't help is a sodding train station bringing in 14 casualties all the time. So we've got 12 hours and another 14 casualties just come in. I wonder if I could increase the number of beds here. That might be useful. I do need another dock, yeah. I think that would be a way to go. Unless the later battles come in as, as trauma and uh, chemical casualties. Which we did see some changes in the main game in that direction. We've got points to spend. Let's go into this now. Three in there. If we can, Yeah, that's nice. So these are the battles. So if we can keep them all blue, we're looking good. And at the same time, we can get a few extra of these. Uh, to, to buy some upgrades with, or if we really need to, buy materials with, but uh, I don't know how that's going to look. We've got no staff points, so there's nothing else we can do. The engineers, they're currently resting, so they will, they will upgrade that in a bit, and that was the, that was the gas tanks. I'm going to save up and I'm going to get that housing thing. Yeah, more and more patients died, but we expected them to. We can't save them all. We are at two to one at the moment. I think that's okay based on how we did in the base game. Seems our diagnosis was very accurate. Oh, I could... This is the trauma. Trauma is okay at the moment, so I'm going to save supplies rather than ease the doctor because that is a little bit more critical was that the right choice it is fine that is absolutely fine we can cope with them like that
There's no one wounded in there. That's good news. There will be in a minute. Uh, is there anything new in rehab? There is. A plus two. We can we can afford we can afford one. We can afford one plus two going out. So I do love the look of this 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 town. I'd love to play a role playing game based in a town that looked like that. Vampire looked kind of dark and moody like this. I do like that uh, that setting. Don't have the washes, so. Um, normal procedure. Sadly, nothing much we can do to benefit that guy, but uh, he'll hopefully survive. This is looking a lot better now. Right then, so was that a big fight? No, we've only got four in there. That's that's good news. Okay, so we're going on to a 24-hour shift. And the 12-hour shifts will hopefully be okay over here. And the cemetery? Don't think we need to worry about it. And this? Oh, there are two people arrived on the chemical ward. That's all right. We, we're only just keeping on top of that. That is so close. Uh... Can I, can I get away with that? Yes, I can. So he's coming straight out of rest. He doesn't need those two hours 44. He's good to go right now. You're going to have to rest there. And keep this guy alive. Although that is a... Should I amputate him? Can I look at the patient card? It's a tiring operation. Former deliveryman. His parents are refugees from Germany. He enlisted to prove to everyone that he has nothing to do with his parents' country. Doesn't look like his parents were refugees from Germany. He doesn't have a female name as well, does he? Because I notice that some of the names are very odd going through this. Is there any female names on there? There was earlier. No. Well, maybe not there. Uh, I don't think then I need to start lopping limbs off. So we'll leave them be. Oh, we have a bonus. Yeah, it's just... Just good news. I'm tempted to put this up to max speed. We have three points. Let's see what we can buy. So I think the housing one... There's no point increasing engineers' housing because I, we don't have points at the moment to, to get them. Oh, we can do this now. Okay, let's let's do this right now. So you guys are having a rest. No, you're not. <laughs> Where you go. Let's go for it. Oh, they've got two things. Oh, I've got no one assigned to the low pressure gas tanks. I'll get the houses done first. It's an hour. Uh, and it should be okay. You can use the x-ray truck. So the whole Marie Curie thing, it just seems to be an extra thing just to click on, doesn't it? Um, oh, I knew that was going to happen really quick. We are okay for a bit. I'll take them out. We, we do have a little, we have a bit of a stash, so we're okay. And over here. So they should, we should see them bringing wounded from the trenches. So what we want to see is as soon as they get back, we should see people start using the ambulance. Let's check it out. There's currently, oh, I've built something. There's no one doing that. Right, let's, let's, Let's do that. So you guys are currently doing nothing and you're having a really good rest. Good. But let's get that built in double quick time. 30 minutes is going to be awesomely quick. Come on, I want to see the medics coming down here. 
Here they come. Here they come. Right. Let's see if this this works. Are they going to fill up this? Yes, they are. And the ambulance drives off. Okay, and the medics come out of there. And the low-pressure gas tanks was fixed. Excellent. So let's go to assignments. Because, oh, come on. We need our engineers working now. So I'm going to take these two out so they don't just get exhausted instantly. You guys are fully rested by the looks of it. And you guys can do a few shifts in here. So let's get caught up on that. And you guys can rest. And I might put them on 12-hour shifts making alcohol. Although we can... We have enough alcohol and we can afford to actually buy it. So if we uh, spend our draft sensibly. All right, so that's going to help with the rest. Let's see what this has gone like. Ah, okay. We're going to have to do something here. Well, this guy is stable. Can we fit him in there? He is a three star though, so we do need we do need to try and save him. We've got critical ones at the top. What if I put him in there and him in there and do that? The stable one dies, which is not good, but put him in there, he lives. This serious one uh, amputate doesn't help either of those. Unless I st I don't want to start amputating three-star soldiers. Especially if it then doesn't make any sodding difference. No, you see, that, that doesn't work to do that. What if I bring these out here? He's going to rest there. He's, he's too exhausted. Okay, let's, let's leave him in. Oh, we'll sod it. No, we can save this one. Uh, I can't even amputate to save him, sadly. I'd have to amputate someone further up the line, but... It doesn't make sense. Well, it kind of does, just for the morale. What if I do... All right. Does it work to do this? No. <laughs> Amputation is supposed to save time, right? But it's not getting him fast enough. It's either not... It does, does save time, doesn't it? It doesn't apply in there. No, it saves half the medical resources. Maybe it doesn't save time. Maybe it's just half the resources and it's less tiring for the doctor. In which case, that makes the sense there. What if I switch you two around? You're still dead. What if I put you up there? It's... it's um, This way? He wasn't going to die before, so what the hell's happened there? I hate it when it does this. So we have to do that. Right, so you were going to die anyway. And no amount of amputating. Unless... I... What did I do? Let's go back in. I don't think that's right. No, I didn't think that was right. Amputate? I can save him by amputating. And we've got this serious... He needs... He needs saving, though. We've got a three-star stable one. Which doesn't make sense to save a two-star stable one for the expense of him. What? I amputate him so he dies. He was always going to die in that position then, wasn't he? That doesn't help anyone further up the line. No, okay. I'm going to deny those two because they are kind of in the way. He gets in... I don't think this is right, so let me just exit and go back in. Okay, now it's saying it is. And now he's now he's, he's still dead. Watch this. Watch. Come on, game. Yeah, he's denied. I, I can't... I know I can't save them all. I do need to somehow get another doctor, but it's not happening. The amputation, is, except in rare circumstances, doesn't seem to be helping a great deal, like I hoped it would.
the operating ward. Someone is exhausted. Um, I could. Sw I'm just going to take her out. But we better have someone on the on a shift there, and we'll use her to to go back in at some point. Yeah, a little bug. It can be really difficult because when you're trying to switch people around to see where they need to be, obviously that doesn't help. But um, at least it's not a massive game-breaking thing at the moment. Let's have a look at the assignments for the. Me oh, what's this? Morale rises. An easy operation. That's good news. And the same again. So as morale rises, things will just generally work better for us. So there's no one in there anymore. So put you on 12 hours. Who wants to work in the cemetery? Uh, there's another one somewhere. We prefer not to work in the cemetery. We prefer not to work. We prefer to work in the casualty clearing station. Well, he is. He... He would prefer to work in the casualty clearing station, but he's not getting the plus three like his mate is next door. I'm making sure I'm reading that correctly as well. He doesn't want to work in there, so you can go into the cemetery and start burying people. And over here, I guess you can come in there. 24, 12, let's put that one on. And... We've got people resting up. It'll sort itself out, I'm sure. Keep using the truck. Uh, we will go for... Yeah, we will do a mick cleaning up the wound and save some resources. Speaking of which... Let's have a look. We'll go and see if we can... Um, I'll set our engineers off. So, plus three. Was that red before? Must have been. Uh, the plus ones can definitely go out. I think I'm going to play it safe. I think it's going to be okay like this. Okay, let's do that and be sure of it. Why does that say 25? Is that one just when reinforcements are coming, maybe? Oh, no, that's the date. Sorry, but there's, there's something. Maybe someone's got a really long rehab in there. Let's have a look. Is anyone with, like, a... a a three-day rehab. I don't see anyone. Two days, actually. <laughs> yes, there is. All right. I think we did see that in the operating ward, didn't we? Someone's going to have a really long one. So we don't appear to have any perks for our, our members of staff in the DLC at all. Unless they still get them. Maybe we just haven't leveled them up enough yet. A diagnosis of this case was accurate. We could perform a more adjusted procedure instead of a normal one. Um, I will go with uh, ease the doctor. Because less rest is always good. So people are living at the moment. We have a stable... This stable guy is going to drop in condition like a bloody stone. The good ones are okay. The good ones can go on the uh, back of the list like this. No one's no one's going to die. It's going to be absolutely fine. It does indeed say no one's going to die, so that's great. So we get someone like this. This is a tiring, exhausting operation. Should I... If I don't need to amputate, I'm not going to. We can save them all we, we can. I think that seems like a, a very fair plan going forwards. I also wonder if this DLC ends here, or whether it's uh, there's a, there's a, like another part to it after that, another mission. Be curious. Let's find out. I'll be very curious to see. Shorter rehab by twenty five hours. That is, a, that is a very strong will. That is a huge change. How are these guys doing? That's okay. We have enough meds for the time being. This dude here is stable. Well, if he's stable, put him in there. There's a guy getting amputated, but he'll, he'll live. Oh, this isn't good. 
The procedure caused heavy contamination of the operating table. I would like to request additional sterilization after the procedure. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I thought they were going to sterilize the patient for a minute. I thought, what? They're going to, like, cut his knackers off? How did he get hurt? Imagine when he wakes up after the operation. I'm sorry, Private. We had to cut them off. They had to go. It was critical. But, Doctor, I was only shot in the shoulder. So while we're waiting for something to happen, I'm going to tell you my favourite Army Medical Corps joke. This is a classic, this one. You'll love this one. Someone died during the operation. That's not good. So um, there's a Brigadier General touring, uh, touring the uh, military hospitals in World War One, and uh, yeah, the rehab ones where the soldiers are hopefully getting better. And uh, he calls them all, all up into, uh, into line. There's a, pr a parade in the ward. And uh, he goes to the first one there. He says, stand to attention, Private. And, uh, and what are you in for? And he says, sir. Gum does it. No, he doesn't. He says, sir. <laughs> oh, I've ruined it now. Forget it. Forget it. We'll tell you that one later. <laughs> I've just broken the joke by telling the punchline <laughs> before the setup. That's what you come here for. Professional comedy. I'll, I'll tell you all again later when you've obviously forgotten what I was about to say. So we're waiting for that to, to finish. There's a huge fight about to kick off. We've got an exhausted medic. Yeah, let's take him out. They should be okay. I don't think anything's getting buried at all in there. And whether that's by design or bug, I don't know. Uh, the advanced dressing station. We've got two people there. That's about to kick off. They are rested though, so that's good news. The nurses. They can go in. Do we need rehab? Faster rehab or faster? Hmm. I'm going to put her into this for the time being. See how she does. Defensive positions. Here we go. Launching an attack. All right, let's go straight back to that and then just reassess. It seems to be four wounded in the trenches every time. And you remember on the very first battle, it was we only had green. We didn't have blue success and it was still four. Now, I don't know if it led us off because that was the first fight and it may be an easier one. But if it's just four wounded every time, this feels a little bit formulaic. You always get the jokes messed up. Luckily, you're not a comedian. We can see why I'm not. Okay, so we're going to put... Um, I'm going to put two guys over here. We've got one who's exhausted. We'll leave this on. Actually, you can come out over there. I'll leave that on a 12-hour shift. He's just going to go to sleep for his 12 hours off. We've got... A, this is filling up down here. What have we got? So we need to get... That's gone blue. These are going to be big battles at the end, though. Clearly. But they're changing colour now, so that's great news. Uh, shall I go for... Let's go for some upgrades. Let's see what we can get that's actually going to upgrade us. Come on, let me put it in there. There's a load more people coming through. Casualty clearing. Oh, God, the train must have pulled in. Um, there's nothing I can do with this. This is absolutely brutal. Unless I start chopping limbs off everybody i mean the good news is that these are all in good condition so that's like a huge relief so i'll start filling these out but we're going to get some people coming in from the front who are definitely not in good condition on the trauma ward at least the trauma is going nice and steady we're managing that and the chemical ward they've actually got some time off so what? Where did all that go? Just a minute. Where did all that go? Is that... Have we been producing more than we should have done? That might be a problem. I can't order more of that, can I? Surgical supplies are still 
quite expensive. Alcohol is is still cheap. Was it one for ten before or one for twenty? It was one for ten before, so it is the food that was one for twenty. Uh, we're getting twenty second of September. Oh, it's okay. In um, twenty seven minutes or something, we're getting another two thousand resources. So that's that's fine. I'm not going to concern myself over that. And that's fine. The engineers can keep working. Uh, we've got two exhausted guys over there. We can switch them in. It's always two spare, ready to come in. I wish we could afford to do 12-hour shifts, but uh, we're definitely going to need everything we can. Right, what's this? This is going to be something bad, okay? It's been raining for the last few days. We've just discovered that there's been a small hole in the basement wall and it got flooded. Some of the crates got damp and the food inside got all mouldy. What should we do with that food? Sell it to the civilians. Cut off the mould and use what remains. Yeah. Throw away all the crates with spoiled food. I have a horrible feeling if I do that, someone's going to get ill. So I'm going to throw it all away. Yeah, trains are bringing in plenty of wounded. That's true. That's where we're getting them all from. So what's keeping our doctors super busy? We do seem well set up for the fights ahead, apart from this last one. But we should have plenty of time to get there. We just need to get that cleared out a bit. It's, it's starting to stack up a bit. We have, yep, decreased cost. We'll take that one. I think we're also at the point where, let's have a look at the next upgrade. What are we going to do next? So, in healing. So this is the interesting one. And we might be able to afford a nice one. So, I don't think it's going to be worth upgrading the surgery ward to give us more slots, because I don't think we're going to get enough staff points to recruit anyone. I think that's by design. However, this one... Okay, we're saving up for six drafts. We're going for decreasing the time of operations by 25%. That, that is a massive, massive change, and that's going to really help. It's the drafts that are quite expensive and holding us back here. I think we'd better save that one up. Yeah, I think that's going to be the right way to go. And that's just a nice one for patient rehab, but we're, we're doing okay on that one so far. Tired in the... F yeah, okay. We're going to change those over in the pharmacy. Keep them coming. Until the alcohol runs out. Well, we're getting through it. We're doing okay. I'm just going to double check on the cost of this, actually. Uh, what do we want? Steam War Hospital. I think it was about four ninety nine for the DLC. It One is. One of the few who tried to preserve a semblance of humanity were members of the medical corps of the parties to this. Four twenty nine. Um, it... Release date was 11. So this did release when it was new. So they had DLC ready to sell you extra when it was new before the game wasn't actually finished. That is um, wrong priorities. But uh, I also feel like it actually could have been part of the base game if it was there ready to go. And it's just been sort of paywalled off. But the base game isn't too expensive, is it? Twenty four ninety nine. No. Maybe charge twenty nine ninety nine and just have uh, a twenty eight ninety nine. Put the four quid on, and just have it in the base game. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like day one DLC and things because it feels like it. It's there. It's part of the game. It's just paywalled off. Is the DLC worth it? Uh, if you finish the game and you enjoyed the game and you want to do something a bit different, for four quid, it's not bad. But I mean. It's not really giving me anything. It's not like a major challenge so far. This might be the end, I don't know. But um, 
I wouldn't say it was worth buying. I think I'd probably just play through the main game again. Now you're rested so you can go straight in. And the trauma ward. Extremely exhausted. Actually, don't go extremely exhausted. Uh, you can actually fix him though. He's quite serious by this point. And you're still in good condition. We just need to keep an eye on people and make sure they're going through at appropriate times. And three stars to the front. <laughs> you get put to the back. Sorry, son. Um, you can rest there. You can rest there. They nearly finished their times anyway. You're in good nick, so you can go on the end there. We're sort of hanging on. It's uh, What is more worth it about War Hospital now, though, uh, not enough, is that the, the updates that they've made, the little patches, the fixes, that's definitely improved the game. So the base game is definitely more worth buying. I think it's just little quality of life stuff. I, I, I haven't done anything with the scouting that I've seen. Actually, that's the point. The DLC chapter doesn't have any extra scouting stuff in at all. So I was always convinced, though, about the scouting stuff, that it, it was like a rushed thing that they put into the game. They hadn't really thought it out or planned it out properly. So, um, yeah, maybe that's the case. But there's nothing extra in it for, for scouts. We want... Who's tired? Oh, my God. Close to collapsing? Should they really be getting that tired? And they don't seem to... They have no memorial. There's no memorial in the uh, cemetery now, if that was anything that bothered people. Hi, Phil. Do I feel the bugs are gone? Uh, some. The ambulance now works properly, so that, that was... I don't know if that was bugged before, but I don't think they had the staff priorities right before. But anyway, that, that's fixed. There is a list on that Steam page uh, of fixes that were just updated yesterday. There was some other stuff, things that I didn't come across. There's This is weird, because I'm playing the DLC, right? But there's no... There's no perks. So remember before, when someone got uh, leveled up, we'd go in and the screen would sometimes freeze. We couldn't pick anything. I think they fixed that. But as we can't pick anything in this, then I, I can't really tell. Um, what else was bugged? The scout screen seemed a bit buggy. Can't tell from this. I'd have to play the main game again to see. Uh, but uh, but they're working on it, and there's, there was a list of fixes, which is nice to see. So that's good. All right, let's pull these people out. There are people waiting. They're in the trenches. You need to be on a 24-hour shift. Get them out of the trenches. And you're going on 24 hours here. This might be easier to juggle things around like this if we manually rest them and then just use 24-hour shifts. I feel like the shift system could do with a bit more work, but uh, whether they consider them bugged or not working as intended, I have no idea. We have points to spend. We shall spend our points. I was going to do... Oh, I need one more yet, don't I? Yeah, so I'm going to decrease the time of operations. That's going to be massive when that comes in. Put a three in there. It's gone green. That's good. And a plus one will throw you out. So towards the end, I think I'll be at the point where I'll just put everyone in the trenches because I don't think I'll need the, the drafts for anything. Unless it's for ordering parts, which, which might be a thing. Hang on. Hang on. Engineers. You're getting tired, so I'll switch you over now whilst we're thinking about it. Yeah, this is going down a bit fast. One more to go. It won't be long. I do like the game. I like it more now than it's working. So I'd, I'd probably play through the game, the main game again. I don't know if I'd stream it. I don't know if you guys would be interested in watching another huge campaign. Because I think it was about uh, 40 hours or so, wasn't it? Uh, we want shorter rehab. And, oh, I, oh, here we go. I'm going to go reduce cost because we have a, a bit of a stack of those building up. And, wow, a 40-hour shorter rehab. That's awesome. Just from being strong will. That is awesome. Oh, god damn. So we're getting serious people coming in. I don't think I can save them. 
I can take, I'll tell you what, let's, let's take the single goods off here. And then we put, obviously, the serious guy in. If we can save him, oh, we, we probably can, because these are, these are all good condition down here. So let's put him in there. And then we've got some stable ones. Well, we'll try and save these. I need to jump in and out, don't I, to make sure this is actually the case. And then the three-star goods need to go in. So we... Oh, let's put him in. Uh, let's just exit and go back in. Okay, it's looking fine. That's looking fine. So we'll leave that. We'll leave those waiting in line. Uh, there is... How long's he been in there? And is it worth amputating any limbs? The serious one, maybe, because that's a four-hour operation. And it is tiring. No, no, we'll save him if we can. We'll do our best. You'd like to see uh, what I do different? You'd watch me? Hmm, I'll, I'll see, because I'm, I'm trying to plan my next month's stream, or this month's stream, in fact. Next week is, is going to be trying new games on Steam Neckfest, some of the different demos and stuff that have been released. There's one, it's like a medieval slash fantasy game, uh, like a, a bit of a strategy game. I think it's called, um, what's it called? Something Crown Black Prince. Set, I think it's set in the Hundred Years' War, but there's a slight fantasy element to it. So I've got a demo of that. And there's another one where it's like a zombie survival game, but you control the zombies instead of the, the humans. So that could be fun. I think it's called Paradise or something. So these, these are things that have been pointed out to me to try, so we'll, we'll probably take a look at them. And there's a load more stuff in the, in the Next Fest demo list as well. Yeah, decreased cost, we'll take that one. But uh, we'll see. Then after that, I need something to get me through to April. When um, there's a load of games coming out, there's Man of Lords, I'm definitely going to play. There's Dragon's Dogma 2, I would like to. There's a, oh, what's the other one? There's another one in April. There's something else that's quite big. So it's going to be a busy month, is April. But leading up to that, um, I'm not quite sure. War Tales, I'll probably do. Use the x ray truck, truck. Keep chucking them in. Anything that helps. You want to play Manor Lords? Manor Lords is going to be good. I am, I am actually quite excited for that. A good medieval city builder with, with combat in as well. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be good. Who's waiting for a new assignment then? Oh, God, they keep bringing seriously injured people to me. Uh, I need to see to them. Okay, well, we can fit them in here. No, we can't. Okay, so... Amputate, 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 amputate. No, it doesn't help. <laughs> that doesn't help. What about if I put one up there? That throws more things. Um, really? So, if I amputate... Oh, okay. I think we're doing that. But this guy's... Hang on a sec. So this stable one. Let's put him forward. That's fine. And we try and fit the stable people in before the goods. That's all we can really, really do. Uh, other than, like... I mean, this is, a, this is an exhausting operation. Other than... Um, Selecting those for amputation. Ah, it's, it's going to have to be that. It's, it's, this is a hard thing to balance. Here's a three-star one. Let's put him on the, on the table. We'll get there. We'll get there. Nursing the operating ward is exhausted. Again. Oh, but it's 7.45pm and she's about to change shift, so that's okay. Keep bringing serious people to... I know. I know. 
And he's now going to die. Unless I bring him out with the rest. We'll save that one. Then the rest might be in trouble, but... Uh, we should have a two... I call them two star, you know what I mean. It's two chevron. We'll put them on the on the table so we can see. I would love an extra doctor in here. Right. This is what we're doing. Engineers. This is kind of critical. So improve me this. This decreases the time of operations by 25%. Uh, we're going to take people out of... How long is this going to take to do? I'm going to take you two, not both of you. Um, you're exhausted. That's a trauma med. Okay, let's take you out. It's going to be two hours 52. That might make a massive difference. Let's hope it makes a massive difference. Right, we're waiting for nurses here. So let's put all these threes in there. We have three of these. So we might be able to upgrade something else. We're just about holding on. Or we might need to... Ah, uh, alcohol. We might need alcohol. And you two are just... Just cream crackered, okay. Hmm. I need to... I probably need to buy alcohol. I don't think I can afford to send the engineers to, to make it. With everything else that we've got going on. You wouldn't think it was a war, would you? How dare they bring injured soldiers into my military hospital? Don't they know? Don't they know there's a war on? I've got better things to do. Bullets pass through. Easy operation. Oh, hang on. Do I have a load of people in here still? I, I might have a load of people in there. Yeah. So you guys come out of there. Why am I even doing that? Actually, you guys leave, because you're tired. No, they don't have any preference, so you go in there on 12-hour on shifts and switch those over. We put the three fresh ones in here and stick that on the 12-hour shift system. You guys can rest up. Actually, you guys can go in there and you will actually rest in there. We'd prefer to work in the casualty clearing station. We'd prefer not to work. We'd like to work on this. We'd prefer to work in the cemetery. Okay, well, you can work... Which one? I've lost him, whichever it was. He has no preference. Um, you want to work over... Th oh, I can't fit them in, that's why. You go over there. You go in there. Right then. Shift. Shift. You guys can maybe switch over. No, that's fine. All right. I think we've got people looking happier. His body's healing. It's good news. And the ambulance is at work. I like seeing the ambulances driving around. It's one of those simple things. It just makes me feel happier. What's this? Outgoing person choice consequences. The same person who drank with locals to make them happy enters your office. You know what, sir? Turns out they're only interested in drinking. Who'd have thought it? Alcoholics only interested in drinking. Once I told them I'm going to pass, they left. It turned out okay, though, since I made friends with another bunch who are much better people, actually. He pauses for a moment. Just wanted to let you know, sir, I'll be off now. I'm going for a drink with the new ones. I wish this new folks won't turn out the same. This needs some better translation. I didn't see all these translation problems in the main game. Did you? I don't remember seeing things that read maybe an odd word missed out, which is uh, just an easy thing to do, but this is, is kind of uh, kind of weird. Right, let's take a look at the... It was a medic, I think, wasn't he? Do you remember his name? We have a lot of medics. I don't see... Anson Moore, that was him. So they do have, look at this, right. So his morale decreases over time when he works at CCS. How come most of them don't have any traits? But this one definitely does. He's not affected by other traits because he's calm. What? Others working with them tire less. Oh, he's not affected by others' traits. Okay. 
What we hang on a minute. Oh, I guess this is these are part of the same team, right? They're just on the same team. But no one else has a single trait apart from that guy with the event. So there was one nurse as well. Is that the same with the nurses? Yeah, there's someone down here. Aggressive. She was the one that wasn't working very well. It says she's thorough. And she works slightly slower. I don't feel like these story events for their abilities are that great in this. 52 hour rehab. 52 hour rehab, that's, that's immense. Our uh, alcohol stacks are running low. Okay, I'm going to have to order resources for that. And maybe food as well. We've got two days, I think. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do it. Just order the stuff. And then it's not to worry about. We'll get some more of these, don't we? We'll be fine. All right, uh, iPhone Apple, we'll see you, um, see you next time. Uh, I might be I might be streaming this weekend. I don't know. Definitely on Monday though. Have a great weekend if I don't see you. The electromagnet construction was finished. That's good. Oh, is this the nurse? So for you, it enters your office. Sir, my boss is even harder on me than before. I don't know what you told them, but I'm not allowed to work as thoroughly as I was. She sighs. I shouldn't have come here, she says, excusing herself to go back to work. Do you know you're speaking to a superior officer? Is that is that what goes for military discipline these days? Let me have a look. So she was down at the bottom. So she's probably lost. Oh, nurses, sorry. Yeah, she's lost that um, thorough trait. Interesting. Huh. I much preferred it when they just leveled up and you got to choose one to remove. I think they've added this in for the DLC. I hope it's not for the main game. I'll be, I'll be quite disappointed if they've done that for the main game. This looks like a disaster. Can you fit that guy in who's critical and just amputate his... There is no way... Okay, we can actually go all the way up to there. Well, we don't need to amputate them. Oh, it right. Well, we can fit him somewhere else, I'm sure. Can we just do that? He's going to go extremely exhausted at that point. That doesn't help because he's resting here. Um, the amputation stuff doesn't really help all that much apart from it does help with uh, the tiredness all right so at this point that's a five hour operation sorry we can't fit you in today you might be able to fit in and you might be able to fit in there so if i do this and then go back in no it doesn't well because he's serious okay so we put you at the front of the list and the stable one now dies. This is a one hour op though. So if I get you in first, <laughs> hang on. Oh. What if I amputate you and you and you? That uh, doesn't help because it's the time. It doesn't help with the time. Well, sadly we need him in first and a one star serious. I can't push him up anywhere. I can do this to lose two of the... No, that's, that's gone. I'm sorry. Let's go to the chemical ward. If someone's been waiting while the doctors have been having a nap. And we've still got this guy. And I don't believe that that's true. No. Okay. Unless I just... Um, Unless I just do that and then put the rest at the end. I'm going to just come back and redo that because it, it still doesn't help him. It still doesn't help him. He's gone. 
Uh, you can... Oh, no, you're going to be exhausted there. Can I bring you out of retire? No, I can't. Right, okay. Oh, don't. No, hang on. You're halfway through an operation. Uh, what about the critical guy? Yeah, we'll, we'll save the critical guy. Okay. And the stable ones. Well, I'm going to put you on. Actually, I, I have a feeling that these aren't going to make it. Unless I just go down the line and just amputate everybody. Tough choices, folks. What if I put all the two stars into one line? But these are serious, so they need to be seen first. This is too, too hard. <laughs> it's too complicated. Give me an easy game. Give him a pen and paper and let him write his less let, let home. That's, I think, all we can do for some of these, isn't it? Sadly. I'm just going to make sure nobody's waiting in here. No, that's that's fine. We've got a bit of time before the next battle. That's okay. Over in rehab. Right, we've got all the battles gone blue now. So other than morale and orders, I think it's... I call them orders still. Drafts. Military drafts. Someone in the pharmacy exhausted. Uh, that would be you then. Oh, am I going to... I'm not going to upgrade anything. Oh, let's, let's bring him out. And let's put three people in there. And let's hope we're just going to hang on. I think we're just going to hang on with this. We've got a lot of battles to come though. Uh, we are going to ease the doctor. So he doesn't tire out as much. Which seems to be the critical thing to do. Tired doctors are not good. If we can improve the houses again to get the rest shorter. Um, I'll take shorter rehab. Because morale is doing okay. 70% morale isn't, isn't too bad. Catch you later then, Catherine. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining us today. Have a great weekend if I don't see you uh, Saturday, Sunday. When is our next supply of train stuff coming? So the resources are coming on the 23rd. At midday? Yeah, around about midday. So we should be okay till then. So I'm not overly keen on the scripted events in the DLC. The uh, X-ray wagon seems like it's just... I mean, it... Just increases chance for success for the next five patients. Which isn't a bad thing, but it's... It's not exciting. Cemetery, I'm sure, is understaffed. Oh, hang on, we've got the vent up there. Close to collapsing, no! There's no... There's no burials bit taking place at all. What's this? Oops. Hang on. Sorry, I just clicked outside the screen there. Pause a second. Uh, requisition yeast. Our alcohol stocks are almost empty, sir. We could requisition yeast from the local bakeries to keep the production going. Should we give the order? This will gain 33 alcohol, but morale will drop. Refuse to take away from the locals. I would rather have the morale for the moment because we're going to be able to order some more here. So I, I think it's okay. We're holding the line. I, I think everything's all right. If I had more engineers, I could make some. So next improvement, I am thinking... Better chance of success. I was thinking actually the rehab center to increase the speed there. Hypnosis. Hypnosis isn't a bad one, actually. Operation time goes up, though. But it decreases the time of patient's rehab, which is quite good on trauma because it's a long one. Uh, we've also got the medical drip. 
Oh, that, that helped two things. Okay, we want the medical drip. That decreased because it's a chemical ward and the surgery ward here. And that decreases operation difficulty by 25% on both. Okay, I, we're, we're going to go for that, I think. Anything that happens that helps on both is nice. And that's also nice. We're going to have the drafts available for that. It's going to be... That's going to be a cool thing to do. And I think we can afford the alcohol for the stuff. And if need be, I can switch to nutritious rations and just buy more stuff in, I'm sure. Shorter rehab. Thank you very much. Speaking of rehab... Um, at this point, I might still put the plus threes in there. But these others are definitely going. Do I want to do that? No, I, I don't think we need to. If it's blue, it's blue, and we're going to treat a lot of people between now and then, so... Right, who's exhausted in the farm, see? Yeah, switch them over. And we'll get ready to upgrade that thing, so... The nurse is exhausted. It's going to switch over at 8 o'clock, so that's fine. I'm not going to use that because we are running out of resources and it's 11 o'clock when the new supplies come in. Or 11.32 or something silly like that. That was a change of shift, so no one's exhausted now, which is great. There's a battle about to kick off. And two doctors, I forgot about this. Two doctors are waiting for an assignment. Okay, I think if we put you in there... And we can set your rest today. You can actually do all of that. That's brilliant. But we'll assign it to somebody else. He's going to rest before this stable person goes in. That's fine. Once he's rested, he can deal with those. And we've got the time down this, which is nice. And over on the trauma ward... Uh, can you actually go in there? Actually, we'll, we'll put you in there he's going to need a rest. That's, that's fine then. That's, that's working quite well. Uh, until this battle kicks off, of course. Right, pharmacy again. Always in the pharmacy. We'll just take you out. Four points. What did I need? Two patients died during the operation. That's that's just bad luck. That's just Ready your weapons. Uh, Germans are approaching. Here we go. We'll have a big staff reassignment after this. Let me guess, it's gonna be four wounded in the trenches. Hit pause. Let's have a look. Let's just do this one first. Uh decreased cost, thank you. I won't say no to that. Right, there is... Oh, there's eight wounded in the trenches. Oh, my God, that definitely caught me out. So, medics. 24 hours. The casualty thing. Once we've got a morgue built, the cemetery doesn't seem to matter. One little bit. So, you go in there. Do I want to put somebody else in? I really should. You, would you be okay? Yeah, they're, they're going to be fine. Until they get exhausted, they're going to be absolutely fine. So also, can we build that improvement? So it was this one, right? The medical drip. Yeah, it's just it just improves operation difficulty. So we've got two people resting. Haha, <laughs> not anymore. They're going to have it done in an hour 55. Yeah, I will I will do that, by which point there's going to be a load of exhausted people to switch around in there. There's a timed uh, thing to the left of the screen. Yeah, that is the alcohol requisition yeast. For a drop in morale, um, I'm going to say no. Oh, God. The pharmacy is... Okay, they're exhausted. We can buy more alcohol, though, so that, that's not the end of the world. 
you know what? Let's get this over here. Let's make the operations easier and get that done really quick and then get people working in this again. So all we need to do is um, all the resources. I'm going to order 50. The food is okay. Yeah, let's put the order in. And that should keep me going for some time. We're running out of freight anyway, so it's okay to take um, the engineers off that job. Let's just check rehab. Everything's blue. I see no downside. I mean, these are veteran troops, aren't they? <sighs> well, as long as these battles... They might, as we take casualties, they might actually turn. I'm going to keep people in reserve, if you like. I think that's going to be the, the smart thing to do. Especially the plus threes. I think it would be a bad idea to get rid of them. Right, over here, this is something nice and easy. We can definitely do that. On trauma, we're keeping on top of trauma, so that's, that's fine. And in here... Oh, nice. They are actually going through this now. And... This is looking, this is looking much better. So you guys are in good condition. We'll put them in like that. There's a lot of screaming going on. Two patients died during operation. Okay. Didn't really want that. We've got the medical drip done. Brilliant. So the drip's done. Let's go and see what else we can do. Uh, let's have a look. Nice, easy operation. Excellent. So, what can we do that's also going to improve things? That's cheap. Decreases the chance of operation complications by 50% on the chemical ward. Oh, actually, this. Increases the chance of operation success by 10% on all wards. I like things like that. This is just trauma ward stuff. I like this as well, though. This is this is affordable. Increases the chance of simplications by 50% on chemical and surgery. This is cheaper than this one. Hmm, that's curious. Oh, there was a rehab time as well, wasn't there? Increases the speed of patient rehab. That one increases the speed of rehab by 25%, but takes longer to build. We kind of want them both to stack. There's another 10% one there. It's a bit more expensive. That decreases deterioration. That also decreases deterioration by 10% and is cheaper to get than that one. That's actually quite good if we've got a lot of things building up and we are going to have a lot of things building up. Okay, I'm going to do that one. And in the staff lodging, we'll put the guys in that don't need to be resting. It's going to be finished in three hours. That's going to be quite useful. Oh, we have this again. Let's trigger. Oh, if we have that, that's okay. That's a different matter. The nurses, uh, the nurses are okay. So engineers. So you guys are going to be exhausted, but it has to be done. We're just going to have one in each one until these are done. Yeah, this. so this is like a little mini challenge, this DLC. It's it's fun. It seems to be fun. I don't like the, the scripted story events for changing perks on those that nurse and that uh, medic, but um, other than that, it seems okay. The timed event to the left, that was... The one that's gone. That was getting um, requisitioning alcohol from the natives. <laughs> Three patients died during operation. That's not good. That's not supposed to be happening. You can just come out and go to work over there. Get, get going. We've got stable people coming in. And this is something to watch out for. The good ones can definitely go to the back there. But the three star goods do want to be, do want to be in front. So 
So far, so good. That's okay. No, that was nothing interesting. We, we could have done it, but there's there's no need to. Not for the dropping morale. I don't know that that would have been... Uh, I don't know if it had been worth it. Right, are we... We're not about to change shift, so you guys had better come out and have a rest. This is going on 12 hours, isn't it? There is no way you're going to manage there, so we're on 24-hour shifts here. No one in the cemetery. We'll just have to throw people back in. Let's spend this. There seems to be a lot of people dying during operation at the moment. And we're going to have to seriously think about uh, possibly rehab. I mean, these battles are very close together. Stable, stable. Okay, this is where this is starting to build up. And it's getting quite serious. And this is getting quite serious as well. So we can put you in there. Uh, can you fit in? This is going to be, this is going to get tricky here. I don't think. Oh, it's, it's looking okay at the moment. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. We can build some more stuff. So we'll see what the engineers can actually create for us. Have we got a... Yes! Okay, so the, that, that silly story scripted event for the perks hasn't changed the system in general. That is excellent. So she's currently assigned... Is that the operating theatre? I think it is. So I would say speeds up operations at operating wards. Or is it a casualty clearing station? I think it's the operating theatre. Yeah, okay, this is Erin Faulkner. It was. Oh, pause, we've got something kicked off here. HQ requested us to re prepare a report of medical data about the patients. While it's not top priority, they'll grant us staff permits if we provide them with that. Send a surgeon? No way. Absolutely no way can I be without a surgeon for six hours. This is not the right time. So, nurses, in here. Oh, why is she exhausted? She's the one, isn't she? Yeah, she speeds up operations here. Okay, we're just going to have to switch over. Because we can't alter that. We want rehab to... Get... Hmm. Do we want rehab to be so much, though? When it's blue, I don't think rehab's as necessary. Anyone? No preference? Right, you're coming over. And you're coming over. So, 12-hour shifts there, and they'll probably get exhausted. And 12-hour shifts here. Although you, you can't do that because you are exhausted, so we'll switch those over. And this... Because we are losing people in the operating theatre, so we do need to try and help with this. Will it pass through the patient's body? Excellent. So I think we also want to make another improvement once this one's done. The alcohol's come in. That's good. We're just hanging on with the meds. That's okay. Hmm. Shorter rehab. Oh, allow the patient to read the letter. Do not make an exception. No exceptions. Seems a bit brutal, but it'll only... Oh, after, after, actually, if we let people read letters, it's usually to report that his wife's having an affair and he goes and commits suicide anyway, so... Or at least that's happened on one occasion. So we're not doing that. Some people died after being denied admission. Uh, you're going in there. Uh, you're going in there as well in front. We are going to need more materials, for sure. Yeah, we are losing a lot of uh, a lot of casualties. Standard issued transfusion kit construction. Nice. Let's go and see if we can build the next one straight away. 
So that was, what the hell was that? It was this, wasn't it? This was for a rehab time thing we got here. Right, that would decrease the speed of patient condition. Right, that, that would definitely help. We've got a rehab one. Two slots for medics. Oh, well, the two slots for medics is a cheap one. And it leads on to this. I don't know how much this costs, but it's going to decrease the speed of patient conditions. Uh, meanwhile, this will increase the chance of simplications by 50%. We can have that right now. We're going to go for the x-ray because this increases the chance of operation success by 25%. And we are having a little bit of trouble with that. So let's assign that and just get that built straight away. Right, I was thinking of saving some of these, but I feel like we probably... Are these all... Right, these are all plus threes. See, after the fight, these might change colour as we take casualties, which is why I'm thinking of saving them. We'll hold on. There's a fight coming right up. Patient Mansell looked and died during the operation. You see, we are losing. We are losing quite a few. I wonder, it's not that this isn't updating, is it? And we're not seeing who's, like, um, who's urgent and stuff, or who's going to die whilst they're waiting anymore. Hope that's not the case. We're maybe just unlucky. What's that one? Patient is suffering from diphosgene intoxication, is experiencing severe respiratory issues, including pulmonary emphysema. There's a little we can do for him without the use of advanced procedures. We can use the quick detox medical drip, or we can use the oxygen inhalation support. We're gonna do that, because that makes it harder and this at least makes it um, quicker, I think. So he's going to be unfit for duty, but he's going to live. And nice, that's just some uh, some good work there. Well done, folks. Well done. Those are all plus threes. And on here, someone serious come in. There's someone critical come in. Right, I think... If I bring you down to there, I put you in there. Does anybody die horribly? No, that's okay. That's good news. So you go in there. And you go in there. And you wake up and get to work. He's getting straight up. I don't know if it's worth having the well rested for the sake of 32 minutes. I mean, these guys are critical, so I think we should just get on with it. Yeah, okay. I mean, it is increasing. We are getting the better difficulty from the, the things we've built, so let's hope people can actually get through this. It's looking okay. You're serious. You're going to live? You're going to live? It's probably going to live. Yeah, it's all regular injuries this time around. It's like in the main game, we seem to cope really well with that, but here it's... Um, there's, we're just overwhelmed with them. And in the main game, it was trouble with trauma and chemical at times, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I suppose it's a bit of a different challenge. It's definitely challenging only having the three surgeons to deal with all this. X-ray construction was finished. Nice. And shorter rehab. Even nicer. So let's see what happens after this battle in relation to, to these. More people dying during Trouble operation. Is coming. Brace your hearts, men. There must be something that makes the operations easier and more likely to succeed. So we're gonna we're definitely gonna take a look at those. Let's take a look at the assignments here, because I think we are likely to start suffering from severe exhaustion before long. Um I won't take all them out, but there's now more people in the trenches.
Okay, that's not particularly good. Uh, I'm going to put one in there so we can switch people out, but this is they're running 24 hour shifts here. The nurses are currently okay. The engineers have nothing to build. So if they've got nothing to build, let's put some to work doing that. We're going to have to switch some out anyway, but we're going to try and get a little bit of excess supply built up. And please tell me the church, uh, the church, the train. Oh God, over the next two days, we're getting 28 more patients coming in. Right, that is absolutely brutal. Who's in the pharmacy already? That didn't take long, did it? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna not use her for fear of resources. Oh, is that actually that's maybe silly, is it? We've got two thousand coming on the twenty fourth, so we've got over twelve hours to go. I, uh, I'm gonna hold off on that for a bit. Come on, guys, load up that ambulance. An extra ambulance might be nice. Although it's doing its job as the ambulance, it's quite good. More again in the pharmacy. Was that, that better not have been five patients just died waiting for treatment. We'll switch you out. Can't build anything yet. Medics are okay. Right, let's take a look in here. Terminal. Oh God, we're never going to get a terminal person in, are we? Unless we put them in there, and we put the rest to there, and we amputate. It still doesn't... Hang on. No, it still doesn't help. What am I if I put you in there? Oh, hang on. Drop you off the list. I'm not convinced. No, okay. We, we can't help here, which is a shame. Uh, you are serious, though, so we might be able to get you in. And the good ones we'll just drop on the end like that and hope that's enough. Right, you're well rested, so brilliant. That's good. You've, you've got a good line going through there. Although they are all good, so let's drop you out and put a serious one in. Stable, stable, stable. Good. Stable. That's fine. I think. Uh, that's okay. Drop you in there. This is going to get really hectic around here, isn't it? I wonder if I could build... God, the engineers again. Um, I can build nothing at the moment anyway. These haven't changed colour, so that's, that's really good news. So I'm thinking... Right, let's send these guys back to HQ. I can't do it. Hang on. There we go. Is anyone else due for being thrown out? Hmm. I could go for morale to try and get a general improvement in things. Um, it would give us... Oh, if I dropped all those in, that would give us another 15% or so. Don't know if it's worth it. Hey, Katie. Hope this is as good as the original. It's okay. It's adding something a little bit different to the original. Um, a little bit more directed. It's alright. It's alright. I wouldn't say it's better or worse. It's just, just slightly different. With more of the base, base gameplay. I'll hold on to those. They're not ready for release yet anyway. That's fine. Oh, God. He's got what? He's got hepatitis. If we don't treat it now, there's a high probability of killing the patient in the next few years. Treat him. And this is where we're starting to run out of materials. Right, we stop and have a think. Seven patients died during operation. That can't be right. I think that's cumulative. Because we can't have had seven patients die all at once. They can't have all failed their roles. I think that's cumulative where it says seven patients died there. 
So overall, we've had seven patients die during the operation. Because if we keep going down this list, can we go down the list? Oh, I see. There's not... Yeah, it must be cumulative because... Yeah, it is. Okay. That's cumulative, right? We've figured that out. Um, let's have a look at the staff. The nurses who are on 12-hour shifts, they're just beaten up. <laughs> okay. We will switch the shifts over. And then these guys will be exhausted. And who else was a Medic team? Yeah, let's pull you out of there. We've got seven people in the trenches still. Which isn't good. I'll keep a... No, no, I'll throw a Medic in there. We'll be fine. The engineers are fine. I can put you in there, by the way. You are absolutely... Actually, let's switch you guys out. We need to get maximum production on here. And the scouts were just nothing in the end. No scouting in the DLC. Eight patients died, so it is cumulative, right? Someone else died on the table. Um, I think I'm going to order some resources. We're going to go surgical supplies, as expensive as it is. I'm going to spend them all, because the engineers are so busy anyway. And I will be able to get some more drafts from dropping these guys out so we're going to put them in there and he's all right for four hours okay so that's going to replace most of what we spent and we've got the surgical supplies to get through so that's that's going to be fine we're okay for alcohol i think more people dying there's a lot of people dying during operations aren't there it's not good I don't think we're going to be able to get those in. Oh, actually, these people are stable. This one's stable. He's going right to the front of the list because he's he's kind of important. Uh, the serious, can we get them in? The front of stable... Oh, that's throwing someone else out. Um... Hmm... What to do, what to do. The stable one can go on the back. We have another serious who might be able to fit in there. Can I move that along? So we can get to there, but we need a... Th oh, we don't... Right, okay. Yeah, he's gone. He's probably going to go. You're there. You go in there. Let's just refresh that. And you go in there as well. Doesn't seem to help amputating them. I know we can like push the doctors so they don't need a rest as often. But um, other than that, it's not really getting the casualty list down, is it? Sadly. I'm losing more and more people in the operations. It's almost like all these upgrades I'm doing to the, uh, the operating ward is actually having a negative effect. But I am surprised, considering we're supposed to have made it easy and we've got nurses working in there to help. How many more people are dying? Something doesn't seem quite right. Right, take those guys out. You can go in there. Oh, you're still exhausted. Uh, it is what it is, unfortunately. There are more battles coming up. This is going to be a nightmare to, to try and do this. We're going to have exhausted medics and people dying in the trenches, I think, are what we're going to have. Twelve patients died during operation. It's They're just... Like, everyone's just dying. Uh, you're critical, so what I can do is I can wake this guy up. Can I go like that? No. Can I throw you to the front? Yes. And can I get you in there? And he will be dead. So, you're going out. Uh... 
Can I push this down? No, I can't. And you're serious. Right, I'm just going to go straight to denied. Definitely feels I'm more under pressure. And it's because I can't get the extra surgeon. I think that's what it is. Ah, sterilization. Okay. Increased cost. I'm hoping... Actually, let's trigger that. We're using the x-ray truck for the next five operations. Yes, the supplies came in right in the nick of time. That was pretty close. Curse my bagpipes. We're under attack! Curse your bagpipes indeed. Right, so... The numbers here haven't changed, so we're still blue. There's going to be a load more casualties. But we're coping with this, because these wounded in the trenches are nothing compared to what we had in the main game, when we were getting like 20 plus at a time. So the challenge for us seems to be just making sure we can get people, um, just keep the materials from rolling in. We'll let everyone have a rest, and then I'm going to see where they're needed. We can afford to make an improvement for something, but what should it be? Probably this increases the, oh, that's no, increases the speed of rehab. It was, it might be that, decreases the speed of patient condition. That's the more expensive one, I think. It might just buy some more time. See, that would be good, but there's no way we're going to get that uh, done in time. Uh, this one increases the chance of simplication. I'm going to, I'm going to do this one because we need some more good news, don't we? We need some more good news. Go and build that. Can we assign more people to this? They're all knackered. Go on, let's, let's throw some more folks in here. Assign. It's going to be three hours. Whether that was the right thing to do, I don't know. We're going to find out soon, though. Uh, shorter rehab, but increased cost. Amputate the leg. No, let's go for shorter rehab, and we'll get him, we'll get him out again. So if this stays blue after this last battle, which I'm assuming it's going to, then what we're going to do is use all these to order extra medicines and stuff. And so far it's looking good. The plus ones and twos can definitely go out now. We've got some threes coming along, so I'm going to I'm going to drop this veteran out. And then we need to order some more stuff. We're just going to buy the stuff. I think that's going to be the way to do it. There's four patients waiting. He's going to die. There's nothing I can do about this. This is really bad. The critical one... Right, let's, what, what happens if I do that? We save two of these. What happens if I do that? It still doesn't save them. So even if we amputate the leg, the doctor doesn't get um, so tired, but we don't get the serious guy in in time, and he dies anyway. So the critical one we're throwing out. These guys are stable, but we're putting them on the list. He's dead. Let's just refresh that page, because that's... Yeah, okay. It's because I've put a... I'm going to amputate him. Just what I, I don't know what he needs amputating, but it's getting chopped off. Um, it sounds quite awful, actually, to be talking about uh, wounded soldiers like this. I'll have to rein myself in a bit. Uh, he's resting. He does need that four-hour rest. What if I bring him in? I can get to there. I can get through the serious people. Can I get through another one? Might be able to save two if I do it like that. Oh, wait, hang on. 
So we've lost this guy. And what if I did that? He's exhausted at that point. But if I did this and this... No, he's still exhausted at that point. Let's put that back. Who are we going to lose? Still exhausted at that point. It makes no difference. And if I put you in there, we lose the other two. It's a two-hour operation. It's denied. It's sad, but it's denied. And everyone's exhausted. So we go back in and we manually turn the bloody nurses off for their shift. What is the point of a shift system if you have to go and manually adjust it all the sodding time? Uh, you're knackered. Okay, I'm going to have to put someone back in these, I think. We're going to need a trickle of supplies coming in. And we just need you guys to finish whatever you're building. And that's not good, but we can switch over to two fresh ones like that. And you definitely need to come out of there. I'm going to switch you over. So we, we need people out of the trenches. This is brutal. Just plain brutal. What do you guys think of it anyway, compared to the main game? I know the general gameplay loop is the same. But just having Marie Curie turn up with a truck that you can use to sho shovel resources into. Um, I think that's a bit of a... I don't know, it's a bit of a funny mechanic to put in to sell a DLC. Strong-willed. I don't know that it adds that much. We've got four hours before more stuff comes in. I think we can maybe afford to. Stable. Put you in there. Let's hope nobody dies. Chemical. Well, it's the chemical ward. That's the only one that's really working at the moment. And trauma. Trauma's just ticking away. Longer rehab. Uh, I'll take longer rehab. Okay. Two can go in there. I'm going to hold on to those until after the battle and then we're going to know where we are and whether we need to reassign them. Shall I order some more stuff? We are definitely getting a little bit low on bits and pieces. That's up to five. Right, that's my seven drafts. Okay, we're not going to upgrade any, anything else. We have to get through another day and so we're going to try and do it. You don't think it adds anything? You like the hectic and even more can't save them all, but from what you've seen, the base game is better. Yeah, I wouldn't say the I wouldn't say the DLC is needed. In fact, if we're doing that, we can afford to use the X-ray truck and just see if we can save some more people. Oh, we have a nurse upgrade. So she is working in casualty clearance. I think that's what that stands for, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, tires less at CCS, which would be good. Works better. Works much better at rehab. Well, they're not currently getting tired in CCS. So, I'm going to go ambitious and just works better. Because of the chemical agent in his eyes, the patient is at risk of blindness. It causes severe irritation to his eyes and might cause blindness if not treated. Have the patient's eyes cleaned manually. It's a longer operation. We can afford this on the chemical ward, thankfully. Because no one's in there. That's, that's kind of lucky. Right, we've got people about to die, I think. If I put you in there. And stable, stable. Stable, put you in like this. I think that's... Well, it says it's going to work, but... Uh, I am not convinced. Let's 
put them in like that. We'll see. We'll see if that works. Short rehab. Thank you very much. Come on, let's see what this last battle is going to be like. We want more of these good news results. We should be getting some because I've, I've got that upgrade going on in that many minutes. Shit. Someone's exhausted. Switch them over. That's why we have spare medics to go in. Although we're getting the ones out the trenches. It is working. You two are going to be exhausted in no time. Let's switch you over to get a decent amount of rest then. The engineers are fine. We're not going to build anything. So let's stock up on... Do I even need to... St oh, I might do. That's a little bit low, isn't it? Okay, we know we've got some more of those coming in. So let's... Uh, oh, God. Alcohol. Alcohol might be an issue. It's going to be close. More patients are dying. Who did I see? God, the exhaustion levels of all my medics and stuff. It's, it's just bad. But there's only three people in the trenches now, so that's looking better. And the cemetery is... Uh, it's just not a priority. Excellent. That came in. We've got the engineers thing fixed. We'll go for shorter rehab. That means that we can now, in the engineers, do nothing. Um, I'm going to put you on building, uh, building, making alcohol, I think. Right, so... Plus twos are away. These are just waiting for this fight to go. Two doctors are waiting for a new assignment. Oh my god, when did all this come in? The, the train, the train, the train chat, it's destroying us. It's absolutely destroying us. Okay then. How are we going to fit these guys in here? This, this is bad. Is anyone seriously... Yeah, okay, this guy's going to drop condition quite fast. But having said this... Um, can I just put you onto that? Oh, it's, no, let's, let's not. Let's let him get fully rested. I don't think he's going to survive that, do you? It says he is. Actually, the guy who's only good can go to the back. The guy who's stable but three stars can go to the front. Who else needs to go ahead? Uh, I think that's okay. Okay. Okay, well, we can have a big waiting list building up here. We can't... Defensive positions. We can't Germans fit everyone in here. More people dying. Okay, it's not affected that. Two patients died during operation. We need to get people out. And I would say we order some resources. And hold on to those. Right then. Oh, God. Shorter rehab. Major Wells, I am afraid that I need to depart. I got a dispatch about a massive battle up west. There's a massive, massive battle According here. According to HQ, it was a massacre. Initial estimates talk about hundreds of wounded. Hundreds. So heard, I need to take my truck there and try to help as many wounded as I can. In World War One. do not have any x-ray there. Of course, Madam Curie. We have an older x-ray machine here and should manage even without you or your truck. I appreciate your help. But I agree, you could do more good out there than in here. Good luck out there, Madam Curie. Good luck to you as well, Major. I hope we meet again in the more pleasurable circumstances in the future. All right, let me just hit pause for a minute while we just calculate uh, our things here. Um, I need... I need alcohols. So, uh, I'll see how much of the other stuff I can order first. Um, 
We're not too bad for these. I'm going to put some more surgical supplies on. Food, food is... We don't have long to go. I'm going to put some food in. Actually, no, just, just cancel that. Just cancel that. What is the schedule on the train? And then we're going to talk about Marie Curie in a minute. There's a 99-minute delay on this one, but it's coming in at 1.51pm with some more resources. And no more food until tomorrow. So food might be an issue. All right, so we are going to order food. Do you know what we might? We might order a ton of food. A ton of alcohol. Let's do that. Let's order that. And then we're going to... We're going to have nutritious rations. We're going to feed people up and get morale up. So, here we go. You're welcome back, Catherine. It's an addictive game. You're doing work, but listening and watching. It is an addictive game. So what we're going to talk about in a minute... In fact, I'm just going to clean these up now. And then they're done. Oh, God. Longer operation. That that have, Not having the eye wash is actually causing us some bother. So, Marie Curie's buggered off with her x-ray machine because there's been another battle somewhere else where she's needed. Although, there's been a battle here and um, she's needed here. But anyway, I think, honestly, calling this the Marie Curie x-ray DLC is a little bit rich for what that feature is in the game. And they would have been better off just calling it, I don't know... Something something different, really. I don't think the, the, the Marie Curie bit adds anything, really, to this DLC. Uh, I thought it was going to be something interesting, um, and it, it just isn't. The, the scenario itself, outside of that, is, is fine, and it's actually quite difficult and quite, uh, quite tricky. But, um, yeah. Anyway, she's gone, so that's that. Terminal, critical. There's no way we're going to save these people. Even if I start just amputating everything. And we might do that because we could. So, should we do that? Just have a list of amputees. I don't think we're going to get through this any other way unless we just start lopping off limbs. Which is an absolute brutal way of doing it. Because, I mean, it's just a game mechanic as well, isn't it? Because you, you couldn't... People getting wounded in the torso, you can't amputate that. Huh, okay. That's fine. The rest are in good condition at the moment. We're going to leave them there on the list. Uh, at least we can do the chemical ward. And the trauma ward is, is empty. And these, these guys on this side. We'll leave them as they are. Can I not get another surgeon? I cannot, sadly. I might have been able to at the start of the game, but we don't have the staff points for it, and there's been no way of... There has been ways of getting it, but we would have had to give up so much stuff. We would have failed badly in other areas. So if I started this, this DLC again, what I would have had to have done... Actually, could we have done this from the start of the game? If we go to improvements on healing... We would have had to have got this. I... We might have been able to do this right at the start of the game and get one extra surgeon. But if we'd have done that, we'd have had fewer nurses and fewer medics, which we took instead. It would have been a 28-hour upgrade, so the engineers wouldn't have been working to, to build medical supplies and we'd have had to spend all the drafts on this. I can't remember how many drafts we had at the start of the game. We could have afforded a surgeon, though, if we'd done this first. So it's another way of doing it. But, um, yeah, a lot of pressure on surgery in this one. I don't know whether it's random or whether it's scripted, the type of injuries that come in. Uh, we are looking to replace him. I don't think we need the extra trauma supplies at the moment, so let's keep him out of it. And we'll put this guy in there. So who's who's tired? Is it just medical teams? There's 10 in the trenches. Um, it's kind of around here where we need people, sadly. 
So yeah, if, if I hadn't had the extra medics and the extra nurses, uh, we would have we would have struggled earlier on. And we're struggling now anyway, so tough choices, but I kinda like that in the game. That you do have these tough choices to make. And it means that you can do something slightly different next time you play and maybe get a different outcome. So But right at the start, there was missions triggering triggering up that allowed you to you know, send this to HQ, do that for HQ, and you would get staff reward points. There was no way we could have afforded the resources that were being requested. So it was a, a bit a bit tough. If they'd come later on through the scenario, possibly, and we could have um, done something, but no, it's just, just a little bit tough to start with, I think. Or throwing those missions out at the start when there there's seems to be no way you can actually fulfill them. Uh, it just uh, seems a bit of a, a funny timing. Right, so... This is this is okay. So let's get the three-star ones out first. And in the queue. Having said that, we don't have to survive a whole lot longer, do we? There's a lot of people there in the list. We've got 27 people in the clearing station. Uh, alcohol stocks are depleted. That is okay. We keep losing people during operations, despite the upgrades we've built, which don't really seem to be helping all that much. Did we get the engineers back? Nope, they're still busy. Um, I don't think we need anyone working that, uh, that shift at the moment. Because we have to, maybe we have to survive till here, I'm not sure. We're trying to work some alcohol production. We have a lot coming in. I'm going to do that. Is there anything? No, there's nothing we can upgrade. Because we don't have the drafts now. We're waiting for people to uh, to free up. And we can't do anything there. All right, but morale's okay. I was thinking, I've ordered food. And I'm going to spend a load on nutritious rations and see if that helps everything. We'll go for cheaper wounds. Two doctors are awaiting new assignment, but they have nothing to do on trauma. They will on here. Um, we will have to put rest breaks in here, otherwise this guy will collapse. Actually, how how exhausted can I work them? And do they have like a debuff on uh, on their chance of? Okay, this is this is where we're going to start seeing people die. I think. Chop, 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 chop. Well, it's, it keeps him alive. We just, we just amputate the three previous people to do this. He's exhausted at that point. He's extremely exhausted at that point. Should we try that? I'm going to try that. Try and keep a few more people alive. There's no real story to Marie Curie to work. No, there isn't. There's, there's no story to her at all. I thought there would be something. Uh, rest gives them less energy. Yeah, let's get rid of Insomniac, because that sounds terrible. So, what was that? A newborn? It's a newborn? He must have got a letter from home or something. That's one of the nurses in the rehab centre just given birth. That would be an interesting DLC, wouldn't it? Uh, who was that then? That was... They are exhausted, but they've just gone off shift, so they should be fine. It must have been... It was a medic team. We're, we're catching up with that, so that's something. Actually, let's uh, let's throw that over like that, because we are catching up there. And the engineers are currently okay. Just... Right, we've got food. We have about a day to get through. I'm putting people onto nutritious rations. Unless, aha, maybe, maybe I want to build something for the last day. Is there anything worth doing? I very much doubt it. There's no point doing anything for trauma. Um, we won't get that. That's just for the chemical ward. Uh, that's just for the chemical ward. I don't think there's anything we can really, really improve now. There's patient rehab. There was... 
There's patient rehab, which is about the only thing I can think of. Oh, hang on. All wards increase his chance of operation success by 10%. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that one. That does actually seem like a worthwhile one to do. For the, the last day that there is. There's a big battle coming in any minute now. Resources are okay. More people are dying. We're not saving many. That's not going up very much, is it? I'm, I'm quite shocked, actually. I, I feel like the upgrades I've built have actually made it harder. The operation seems... We seem to be getting a lot more deaths during operations. Um, administer the smaller dosage of the antidote. Unless I've got a nurse in there with a trait that's like psychopath or something and she's actually killing people. And we kind of joke about it, but it's... it's. I mean, it happens in real life, so... Should we go and have a look? Oh, normal procedure. We're under attack. Right, this is the final battle. We can skip that. So we don't need to send anyone to the trenches now. Um, gangrene removal procedure. Or perform amputation. Suffered a, a rupture of the artery during transport. Medics were able to stabilize him in the process. They contaminated the wound and caused gangrene. Gangrene doesn't normally come on in like the, the hour after being injured, I'm sure. Um, it's a 35 minute operation longer. Let's, let's do that. All right, let's take a look in here. And this is where everybody dies because I just can't get them through the system. Uh, so I'm just going to deny. We're going to put you at rest there. You're resting there. Um, I'm going to put stable people on the table. They're all dead. Terminal serious. Let's just bring him out of... Out of that to get him there. Um, the game might be finished by then. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we can save these guys. I'll try and save the three star if I can. Nope. Well, I know what we say. We say don't bother saving one of those if there's a three star to be saved. Uh, which seems absolutely brutal. I don't know. I... I well... Unless I could replay this differently and get the uh, the upgraded surgery ward right at the start. I'm not overly impressed with this DLC. Who's tired? More medics. There are more tired people. There are more wounded people in the trenches. Okay, we'll try and get them out. Staff gets... Uh, maybe if the story showed an increased x-ray performance and effect in this. Yeah. Actually, yes. That's what I thought it was going to be. But uh, it's like a, it's an X-ray in a van, basically. She's just driven up with this thing. Uh, let's okay. Let's just start denying people treatment. Uh, stables going in front of goods. I mean, we'll see if we can save as many as possible. At least on the other wards, we're doing okay. Uh, what's going on in here? There's nothing left to, to do, as far as I can see. So we've got stuff. Do we need to order anything? I think we're okay for materials. We've nearly got this built, which should help us save a few more people, which is good. Shorter rehab. In fact, is there any more improvements that we can actually build? And then what I think I'll do is afterwards we'll load up the thing again from the start and just to see if it's possible to build that bloody... that thing. So there's lots for patient rehab. There's some stuff for the chemical ward, but I mean, it's there's no one coming in with chemical damage, so it's not really that. Um... Is this the advanced dressing station? Nope, no use. Casualty clearing. The only thing that would be of use at this point, and we can't afford it, is the rest time. Nothing for production, nothing for scouting. Okay, I'm going to save it and I'll just order materials if we need them. And apart from 
someone exhausted in the pharmacy and in here. In fact, let's put two guys in there. Nurses are okay. Engineers. Well, do we need anyone there? We certainly need people in here. Actually, is he not? Yeah, that's like that. I'll let those guys rest up. We have enough alcohol. Right, I'm going to do the other the other thing. I'm going to go to the canteen. And we're going to go to... I can't even do the nutritious rations. I should have looked in that first, shouldn't I? Because that's the upgrade. And we, we, had, we haven't got it upgraded. And it wasn't started at the beginning of the scenario. So that's crap. <laughs> so I've ordered the food... For nothing. Okay, I should maybe have checked that first. I just assumed we could have done it. Right then, Doctor. Can you fit this serious person in somewhere? I think so. Actually, do you need to rest there? Yeah, you do. He's extremely exhausted. Stable. And we'll leave the goods in there. Hmm. Yeah. Like, everyone's dying during operations. Uh, each one's every two days. Morale increases slightly when they work. Resilient. Or others working with them perform better. I'm going to make them funny. Because why not? We need a laugh. We've got a comedian nurse. Someone else is stable. I'll just put him in the list. And a complication. It appears the bullet inside the patient's body is partially shattered. If we're not careful, it could split and shatter fully inside, causing more damage to the patient's internal org uh, organs. Well, we can use X-ray. just makes it a longer procedure. I mean, we have to go six hours. So... I think we're just coasting towards the end here because I don't actually think there's much more that we can physically do to alter anything. Have you noticed? Something's jammed, right? This is bugged. This is absolutely bugged because this has been on 73 forever and like it feels like everyone now is dying at the end of their operation. Does that bear out with what's going in here? Yeah, because we've got nobody new coming into here. Why is this? Is this another bug that's introduced? Let me just have a look at the nurses. Um, I want to actually have a look at the... Right, does anyone have? Psychopath. Murders everyone in the hospital ward. Aggressive. That's just morale. Curious. Strict. What about the doctors? None of these have picked up any perks at all. The medic teams. I'm not missing anything, am I? We've got space in there. It shouldn't be anything to do with the cemetery. There's a medic that's upgraded. No, there isn't. He's down here. No, he's not. He's between the two, so I can't select him at all. Okay, I think we've got a, another bug in the game, so... Oh, this is this is super annoying. And I don't know if this relates just to the DLC or whether it's introduced in yesterday's patch and would affect the main game as well. But I'm convinced nobody is making it out of my operations because it does feel like we're getting this far too often. Patients are dying during operation. Shouldn't more staff be leveled up by now? Seems a long time for your perks. Yeah. Although they, they did start this uh, sort of this chapter, if you want, this DLC chapter with, with nothing. Uh, but the amount that's been going through, you'd think we'd have got something. Um, I'm going to throw you straight into the denied set. Oh, actually, throw you in. It seems to fix the situation. Patient died, assigned... 
Is this because nothing's going on? Hang on, we have a morgue though, don't we? Right, put you in the cemetery on 24 hours. I mean, there's 80 dead. Uh, could that be it? That could be it. Are they going to walk over to the cemetery before they start work? I think they are. There's people ready for operation. There's people just gone terminal. Hang on a sec. He's gone critical. No, it's fine. So they have gone to the morgue. I'm just going to assume you're going to die. They're definitely working through these, aren't they? Oh, I could actually put him in ahead of the good people, but never mind. Huh. Is this medic coming back down? He is. Stop there. Um, ambitious. So there's going to be a lot of... There's a lot of dead people to, to deal with, unfortunately. Um, you can go in there, maybe, and get seen earlier. We've got exhausted doctors, which is never a good sign. Although we have seen a very intense period of combat, so... But no one is coming over to the rehab centre. Have I got something wrong on the me with the medics? They're all working... No, they're working 24-hour shifts, so they should be going for it. Okay. Something's not right here. I have a lot of very wounded people that I shouldn't try to save. I am uh, I'm sending them straight off to the thing now. It's They're not even getting in there. Uh, these should be saved. I mean, there's no reason why these couldn't be. They're, they're slightly more seriously wounded, but they, they, they could be saved. It's just... Well, I don't know. But that 73 has not increased in a long, long time. If anyone wants to rewind the stream on YouTube, uh, you can go and see when that hit 73, how, how long ago it was. Because we've not saved a single person since whenever that happened, and I've noticed it's been there for a while. And also because the rehab centre's emptied, no one's, no one's coming through. An exhausted dock and terminal equals death. Well, terminal, um, it's not the severity of the wound, it's just how long they've got left. Someone died waiting for the operation. That's not showing me this, though. It's not showing me the skulls, unless there's a random chance of that. If he's rested, he doesn't need to rest there. So where does he go? Uh, I'm surprised. How, how far can we get through this before he's, he's tired? Right. Um, amputate all of them. So you, <laughs> you can maybe hold on a bit longer. He's tired. He's, criti he's critical, but it's sh it shouldn't be like... Um, it's not a serious thing. Uh, no, not morale, sorry, Catherine. It was the, the number of people we've saved versus number we have that have died. I'll have a look myself. Actually, let's have a look myself. Let's bring YouTube up here. Let's stream myself streaming myself. That's going to be an interesting one for the algorithm to figure out how it's going to deal with. I don't know that we can watch our own adverts. I think that I can get into trouble for. Right, so we skip that. Uh, and then we go back here. Right, that's a 41. 58, 63, skip past that one and that one. Oh, it's maybe not as far back as I thought. There's 73. So in the last 28 minutes of gameplay, our medics, our doctors have not saved a single patient. And I don't believe that should be the case. And that does tie in with this not having anyone go into it. 
Hang on, there's no one on the operating tables. What's going on? Tired, tired, exhausted. They would just go to rest. Um, I've got materials. Just deny, I'm just denying these critical ones. Something isn't right here. Working zero, idle three. It's broken. It's literally broken. Two patients died whilst awaiting surgery. Okay, this is... Someone's gone for a rest now. Um, they're not loading in. Do I have the upgrade that makes corpses not take up space in the theatre? Yes, I have the, uh, the morgue. That was, that was built as part of the DLC at the start of the chapter, so I, I didn't choose it, it was already there. I'm certain that is the case. Where's that under? Yeah, it's there. I, I didn't actually have to build it, it was already there. So, um, But as we can see, nothing is going on here. I have the stuff, I have the resources, I have the materials, everyone's just dying and something's not right. It's bugged, and I've finished it. Wait, hang on. It goes straight to credits? It can't go straight to credits. You, you can't have a... You, you can't have something that just without warning just goes straight to credits, because you want to be able to look over your stats and see... and see how many you saved and how many you lost, although we know that's bugged out. You want to you wanna have, like, some sort of cutscene or something? This is... Oh, I can't believe this. I just can't believe this. So, this has been for sale, I think, since day one of, of launch, or January the 11th, which might have been three days after launch. I think January the 8th was when it launched. Humanitarian inefficient, yeah, because the game bugged out. Civilians taken in for... How did... How? Where did they come from? I never took any in. There was no scouting in this whatsoever. So what they should have done, instead of trying to sell an add-on package immediately after launch, is fix the flipping game so that it actually worked. I was very pleased to see the updates that came in yesterday, but the game is still buggy as hell. So this, this is a shame. Um, if I start this again, just out of curiosity now, while you guys are watching. Yeah, it's way too rushed. Way too rushed. And also, this should have been part of the main game. You know, you can't release DLC on day one or day three and say, oh, it was, it was always intended to be extra. It was never supposed to be part of the main game. It's just locked off as part of the main game. If you have to put the main game's price up a little bit, that's fair enough. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to look to see. We've got 10 drafts in this. So what we could do as part of our first upgrade is go to the improvements and build this. So improve that. Report. And we throw four German engineers into it. Skip all that nonsense. On... There should have been a little story page or anything just pop up at the end of that. It shouldn't just cut straight to credits. That's that's quite poor. So they're going to build... It's going to take 28 hours or 14 hours. It might take longer because they're going to have to have a rest in the middle of that. So by doing that, that would allow me, once that's done, to then hire one extra surgeon. It would be one extra surgeon and one extra medic. And I wouldn't have the nurse. And the nurse seemed quite critical to get these, um, get these done. Hmm. I just want to try something out. If I ignore all the... everything that goes on. We've got 10 patients waiting in there already. Let's see if starting again gets people actually... actually working in the... Uh, the operating theatre now. Let's see what happens. It should. Oh, 
Oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry, it's that one. Yeah, they're working on it, so... I think my game just bugged out. So this would be the other way of, of starting... Yeah, if I do this, watch this. Hang on. Watch this. So click on this. So, I just had a word with the doctors. Oh, this is different! Ah, uh, okay, so these events are different. They're asking for alcohol and better food rations since they think they have the toughest job here in the hospital. Your thoughts? So we can provide extra stuff for the doctors, which we could afford to do. Share extra rations with the entire hospital staff, which we could probably afford to do. Or deny their request. It's just a morale thing, that. So, it's working again now. Uh... Unless there's a limit to the morgue. I don't think there's a limit to the morgue, but... I don't know. I'm going to say my game bugged out. What do you guys think? What do you think of it? I think the DLC is utterly disappointing. If it's working like that. But then, again, it could be a bug that was brought in in yesterday's patch and not anything to do with the DLC. <sighs> so spending the drafts and a chunk of resources on this to get an extra surgeon in 12 hours time. It means I'd never get that extra nurse, so we'll not get people through. Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. Anyway, I'll tell you what we are going to do. We're going to stop it there. Because I think I've definitely seen enough of War Hospital. Uh, it's... Uh it's still a mess, unfortunately. That DLC is definitely rushed out. Hmm. Oh well. You know, if the events are random every time, I wonder if the casualties that come in are random every time. It's a still, that seems like a, a load more trauma injuries than we started off last time, but uh, for one, I did hire another trauma specialist though, didn't I? And that's probably what got through all that. Actually, if we don't hire the trauma specialist, can one trauma guy deal with all that? Possibly yes. I don't know. Well, I wonder minded just the DLC being brutal, but uh, that's absolutely fine. But the, the way it worked out for me with that not working is uh, is not. So I think that's that. Sponge bath time at the war hospital. I think I'm going to have a sponge bath. Uh, that's it. And I think I think that's it, folks. We're going to call that a day. And I think our time in war hospital is definitely done. I did enjoy the base game, and I just wish they'd had it fixed ready. So my review still stands. Um, I put a comment under there and pinned it actually saying that there had been some things that had fixed things but now it seems like more stuff is broken so uh, that's a shame so I think we're going to be back might be back over the weekend so do stay tuned it's going to be a, a last minute stream I put up or we might start War Tales that would be good I might actually start War Tales because that's awesome and we're going to name some of the, uh, the people in the gang after you guys so if you want to be in the game then make sure you've got notifications turned on and come and join me for one of those hmm you look back to the last battle, Catherine. What did you find there? Yeah, War Tales. No fun for you. It's uh, it's a. Uh, can I show it quickly? Uh, can I load it up? I probably. Could. Yeah, let's load it up. I'll show you what it is. It is. This is awesome. I've got it. Uh, it's included in Game Pass if you have Game Pass for PC or Xbox, and I got given a copy from GOG as well. So I'm going to load this thing, if there's no updates for it. I didn't check beforehand. But it's a really cool little game. You basically control a squad of mercenaries in like a medieval, low fantasy era. Um, going to keep them alive, assign them little jobs, go off doing quests for local inns and stuff. Um, it's really, I loaded up the line my last save of a test game. It's really good because they pick up, it's a bit like Battle Brothers if you've seen that. They pick up injuries or they die off. And you basically, are those are my companions. Oh yeah, you have horses as well. You basically go wandering the map. That's pause. Okay, how do we move? Left click. It's been a while since I played. <laughs> Is there a speed? Oh, we can sprint. Can we sprint? We can sprint. 
And basically you, you go around picking up jobs. You can talk to merchants or attack them, pick up resources, craft better weapons and armor, stuff to sell. Uh, you got to find food for them. Uh, or you take little jobs from towns. There, there is a town down here somewhere. Oh, there's this guy. Who's this guy? Oh, I think this is a, is this a boss level fight? This might be a boss fight. It doesn't matter because I'm not continuing the save, so this is fine. I have killed them all. That's a boss level fight. I'll show you what it looks like. Level 3 champion. Yeah, I, I'm going to get killed here. <laughs> but this is, this is actually quite good fun. So normally you turn into one of these fights. Excuse the, the fo fog and the mist. This is because we're going around at night and it's bad weather. Uh, so you have characters like there's a, there's a tank character there. We've got spearmen. Uh, we've got rangers. There's a big two-handed sword guy. There's a rogue, so we want the rogue to, to backstab away. The tank's going first. They might be able to withstand. And we've got an archer. So, we've deployed. How do we... Okay, so this is the turn order. It looks like they... Alright, so it shows the turn order. We choose a character. In this case, he's getting to go every other turn because he's, he's an elite character. don't normally get to do this. So it's like turn-based combat. He is going to apply judgment to his nearest enemy. I don't know what judgment is. But we probably don't anyone, want anyone too close. So let's pick up this dude and let's... Um, I probably can't force him back. I say... I'm just going to shoot him. Can we shoot him? And this is the battle bit, but there's a camp scene where you can actually um, upgrade your soldiers and you have them living in a camp and you assign them jobs. It's, it's really cool. Convinced uh, you'll take a look. You're still watching your Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. You just finished Moonrise Tower. And a pretty cool gamer compared to what... Uh, okay, I killed Shadowheart. Then, well, Will. Will was an accident, but he got himself into a bad mess there. And that was nothing to do with me. So, uh, so yes... Can we force this? We won't be able to force this guy back, right? But it was an extra hit. So you can see it over this guy's head. He's got like a grey armour bar then a hit points bar. Um, I think that's the end of his turn. Unless I just move him out the way because we don't want archers getting hit. So this guy's applied judgement, which does what? The unit is targeted. So he's going to come and attack this unit, I think. Next turn. Oh, it, it deals 80 damage to all the units in the area. 80 damage is enough to kill one. Look at the hit points and armor. <laughs> That's enough to one shot. What we could do is bring a rogue up here. So we move him in. And I'm going to backstab him. Poisoning might be good. Oh, knife throw. Oh, I don't have backstab on this character. Okay, I'm not going to backstab him then. But um, it sounds a little quiet. I might have to turn the noise up on this. A bit like the last train game. Yeah, it does. It definitely has a feeling of that. And forces enemies in the area to disengage and incur attack of opportunity from their opponent. Why not do that? I'm going to see what that does, actually. And... Oh, okay. So he's, he's set an area of effect up. So I would probably wish to move out the sodding way, I think. I'll get behind him. And then try and weaken the guy. It, this doesn't do the game justice with the graphics, actually. It's It looks really grey and fuzzy. I'm doing the best I ever have against this character, so that's going to be something we're, we're definitely going to start on the stream at some point. Uh, let us return to menu. But next week, it's all stream Next Fest demo stuff, probably, unless I run out ones I want to try, and uh, we'll start this up. It was very quiet. I think I've just got the volume turned down for some reason, so I'll turn that up. That's fine. You want to hear them cry out in pain? Oh, you will. You'll see that. Don't worry. There's hunting in there. There's fishing. There's general crafting things, which are nice and chilled out. You level up the crafting professions. 
And like Last Train Home, if you if a character's crafting professions level up, they add stats, strength, agility, or whatever in similar stats to what they're related to for crafting. Uh, there's cooking to feed the to feed the camp. There's um, all sorts of stuff. It's a really cool, chilled out game. And I like the way that you go from town to town picking up missions. And each zone has a little sort of story around it. The starter zone's about refugees coming in from a war-torn country, causing conflict between the locals and the, the refugees. You kind of decide which side you're going to sort of help out or try and play it neutral or just rob them all. You can do that. You can go against the law. You can kill the, the guards and the sheriffs. Um, you can murder people and steal stuff. And you can be the bad guys if you want, which sounds like a load of fun to me. So there's all sorts of stuff. So that's going to be us next week. Uh, we're going to look at the, the Steam stuff. And then if there's time, we're going to look at War Tales and uh, we'll see where we're going from there. So have a great weekend if I don't see you. I might put a stream up if I've got time. Uh, it definitely will not be War Hospital. I, I've had enough of that and I am disappointed, I think. So anyway, have a great weekend, folks, and I'll catch you on the next one.